Welcome to the Bright Side Home Theater Podcast. The Home Theater Podcast, it's all about the experiences, the sights, the sounds, the scenes. Ah, isn't that, it's so much more peaceful hearing the three of us say it as opposed to uh, what happened in today's Takeover Tuesday. I forgot what that sounded like. <laughs> Did you oh, hear yeah. that, John? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to listen oh. to any of it. I know it's, it's Steve's. It's Steve's rerun, though. Yeah, it's Steve's, Steve's rerun. rerun. Yeah. It's, <laughs> hey, and I'm not getting royalties or anything. I don't know what's yeah, going right? on. Yeah, well, we've got official. I mean, we got reruns. go on strike with the writers. Yeah, we got reruns. Look at us. Uh, but yeah, I opened it and I was like, the sights, the sounds, the scenes. I was like, oh my god, it sounds so weird to hear me say it all. It was crazy. I was like, whoa. And not only that, that I even said it on a takeover Tuesday too. Right. Because n- now I just roll right in. I'm like, ah, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I was like, uh, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but, I, but yeah. what, uh, what, sh- what struck me is I was saying to you earlier, just the, the audio change. Oh, my goodness me. It sounded dreadful for my part, not yours. Yours sounds just yeah. as good as ever. But mine it- sounded <laughs> terrible. <laughs> well, you've come a long way, Steve. Like we were saying oh, yeah. earlier, how many, how long you were on a bunch before you got the new mic. Mm -hmm. right yeah yeah quite and yet i just i now realize just how bad it sounded at the time i thought it was all right but it's great me yeah no it's yeah (laughs) and like i said to you then and i've said to everybody else that's been on i'm like it doesn't matter what your mic sounds like i want that you know i want people when they come on for takeover tuesday it doesn't you don't have to have a great mic and it it makes it more real you know because then it, it sounds like a call in or something like that but it's like you know, you don't have to have great audio and all of, like, remember when Paul Hurt was on and he told me about mm. his setup? He's like, on, he's like, oh yeah, this, this, and this. his setup to be on this show costs more than our theaters just because that's what he has <laughs> handy because that's what he does for a living. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> but, um, so, but in true, I mean, we have to move this to the front of the show. Absolutely. No donations this week. So nothing got pushed to the front of the show like that. But um, you guys saw this. I was blown away by this. Uh, Mikey Schramm goes on vacation and he meets John down in the Dominican Republic. So he tweeted out a picture. He said, while at breakfast, I stopped. I was stopped by John. He's a listener and was super excited to see someone wearing the shirt wanted to know where he can get one of his own. So, of course, I filled him in. So, I said to him, he had uh, contacted me, Mike contacted me even before this, and I'm like, hey, let John know, you know, tell him to email me and I'll I'll get him his own shirt. I'll send him his own shirt because I thought that was pretty cool. So, then I get this email. Which one of you would like to read this? This is pretty cool. I'm, I don't mind. It's up to you, John. What do you want to do? Do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? Uh, I can do it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it says, hello, DJ. My name is John Pfeiffer. I am a subscriber and an avid listener of your podcast and have been for about three years. I am a home theater nut since the days of the Laserdisc. So a funny thing happened today here at Bahia Principe in the beautiful Dominican Republic. Me and my lovely wife, Pauline, celebrating our 35th anniversary, are being seated at the main dining room for breakfast. I see a gentleman dining, having breakfast with family and friends, wearing your Brightside Home Theater t-shirt. And I nearly stopped in my tracks. I said to myself, I have to approach him, which I did. My wife thinks I'm nuts, as you can imagine. I actually thought it was you, since I don't know what you look like. I introduced myself and asked him where he got that shirt. I told him I'm a subscriber of the podcast. The whole family could not have been nicer as I clearly interrupted their meal. We took a photograph and chatted briefly. It was amazing. And then he later spots me by the pool and calls out my name to inform me that he had spoken to you and for me to email you for a t-shirt. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the gentleman's name, but he couldn't 
uh, have been nicer. I love your show, and you obviously carry great company, evident by the unnamed gentleman I met today. I will continue to press play and wish you nothing but future, future success. I'm hoping you reply to this email, and please give me the kind gentleman's name. It's a pleasure listening to you, John Pfeiffer. Yeah, so I emailed him back, told him it was Mike and his family and stuff, Mike Schramm. And uh, so he emailed me back later and said that um, after that, he was, I, I'm like, give me your address and everything and I'll send it to you. And he's, he was like, oh, I feel like I just got another wedding present. He was so, an anniversary oh. present. He was so excited. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> but I was just like, I, I thanked him for going up to Mike because whether he thought it was me or anybody, but it's like, that's what I said when I put the t-shirts out, right? I was like, hey, you never know the conversations that are going to strike up, you know? And I, I also <laughs> said, I think I tweeted it to, to Mike. I'm like, mad props for wearing a dark shirt in the Dominican <laughs> Republic. Yeah. I'm like, that's hot. <laughs> I'm like, what the? But, um, but yeah, it was, it, I said to John, I'm like, thanks for going up to him because you know, that's, I know your wife thinks you're crazy. I go, they think we're crazy for everything we do anyway. So, <laughs> but <laughs> just going up to people and then I, I'm picture it on Mike's side too. Right. Wait, what? I guess, you know, he was just at breakfast and like people come on. <laughs> it's like, just because he's wearing the shirt. So I thought that was really cool. Um, like it's, just, I was blown away by it, but I mean, that's, I'm obviously I'm sending him a shirt, uh, sending John a shirt. I'm, I'm working on a couple other things for Mike too, to keep his one man marketing machine for God's <laughs> yeah. sakes for Brightside Home Theater. <laughs> it's awesome. He's doing a tour of South America, is he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but apparently. Um, and then Steve, what did you, what'd you see? Like, what'd you say? Like, 200,000 people and nobody said hi? <laughs> Not a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was mingling all day amongst 200,000 people, quite happily strutting my stuff. And uh, while I didn't see any other shirts like mine, but also no one came and said hello. So I'm sure this, it's just not our audience, Steve. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guns and Roses crowd? No, probably not. Yeah, no, they're just, they're, you know, they, they didn't know what they were doing off their heads by that time of night. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But yeah, I was like, that, that that's awesome. I mean, it's one thing, like, if you're at a, at a, like, a home theater show or something, you know mm. what I mean? Like a, mm. um, whatever, trade show or something, and you're walking around or whatever it is, you, you'd expect that. But then you're like, you're just on vacation and it's like, and he had already tweeted out the picture of just him on the beach. Right. And mm, it's like, yeah. what the, and the, <laughs> to have somebody come up to you. I was like, it's so awesome. On both sides from, yeah. you know, from Mike wearing the shirt on taking it on vacation. Who packs yeah. that on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thank you. But that, and then on top of that, it's like then John going up to him and being like, but that's, that's, what's great about the home theater community. I'm like, you just, he's, a, he's got home theater on. I'm going to go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so pretty cool pretty cool yeah so one of the things we're gonna do with this one of the ways uh to say thank you to john and to to mike you know i've been working on a little something here to say thank you to people and as a promotion for the show that i got other ideas for that we're gonna work on but our first ever here we go our first ever Brightside home theater commercial now available the bright side home theater pen. So I'm glad you it, said it was a pen, Deej. It looked like something else yeah. initially. Uh, oh, well, hey, it, a let, curling iron, Steve. You don't have yeah, any that, hair. Yeah, yeah. What you said. Yeah. Let me tell you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see you can see the pen, and you can see it says Bright Side Home Theater with the Bright Side Home Theater dot com on there. All right, guys. Easy because. I know it looks like more than a pen because it is. Uh oh. Well, yeah, Does you it want vibrate, to DJ? That? No. <laughs> You're is brutal. it a vibrating pen? Yeah. No, yeah, it's, just, no it's, it's a pen, but I mean, like. It's a gun. No, it's, it's like James also, Bond. I mean, it's also a stylist. Nice. A stylist. Stylus. Stylus. So, Stylus. so it is a curling Stylus. iron. Stylus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a stylus. You can use it to manipulate your phone phone <laughs> so but not i mean it's a pen first and foremost yeah. 
then it's a stylus too. So it's like, it's practically, it's like the bright side home theater MacGyver tool. It's like and a Swiss it, army knife. Yeah. It really is because you know what? It also does this. You ever go behind your, your theater rack? It, I know Steve, you've been back there a couple of times, but you go back there and it's a little dark. Steve, mm-hmm. Steve does know there is a back at least. There is a back. I've right? heard rumors. And, you, and you're trying to see back there and you just can't get enough light. Uh-oh. Well, guess what? It's a light too. Oh, whoa. Oh, and the letters light up. That's yeah, pretty that's snazzy. Cool. Yeah, no, they don't. Cool. No, they oh. don't light up. I superimpose <laughs> that's that. The oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to mislead people. That was the best I... part of the whole pen, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined everything. <laughs> so it lights up. All right. But wait, there's, there's more. A... There's Uh-oh. more. When you're sitting around and you, you, your phone keeps flopping, you keep, you know, you're trying to watch Brightside Home Theater. It it's a stand too. Oh, oh, look really? at that. Look at that. See? It's pretty cool. Uh, so I can't see how that how does that work? I don't how so that go? here's yeah. the pen. You see oh, that yeah. little cutout yeah. in okay. the middle there? Yeah. Uh-huh. That you pull that off and then mm. it props cool. up your phone. Nice. See, so it's it's a stylus, it's a light, and it's a stand. Oh, and it writes too. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I happen to have one right here, handy. It's two for the price of one. Just pay separate shipping <laughs> and handling. Yeah, right? yeah, that's and it. it lights just up. Just nine ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> so it works perfect. Nope, Sweet. we're not charging for these. Um, if you do something extraordinary, send. I'll uh, ask for your address. I'll be sending you one. And there's going to be another thing coming up. Maybe I'll announce it next week or the week after. Another Is that way to earn a pen. Oh, no, earn a pen. Sorry, right. I thought I was. Sorry, I thought this was some sort of an ex- another another project, another item. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 So. Yeah, so that's uh, the, the, I ordered these a few weeks ago. It was supposed to have the logo on there, but they told me they couldn't mm. fit it. So yeah, no. oh, cool. Oh. But yeah, that's right. But it it does all of that. The bright side MacGyver home theater pen. <laughs> not curling tongs or marital aids. <laughs> yeah. Do not. And let's just make this very clear. Do not put it somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. We're not responsible. <laughs> I think legally we need to make this clear. We're not responsible for any internal injuries that might be caused as a result of a misuse of the pen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anybody had any uh, issues. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Not yet. No. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. We done with that. Let's mm-hmm. get to, are you ready to get to some home theater experiences? Uh, well, I am Deej, but, sure. but Deej, can you see comments? Can you see no, chat? No, nothing. me neither. Yeah, me neither. Are we and on? The, the, well, it says live, and there are people watching on YouTube. So there are, but yeah, why aren't so, we getting them? Mm, no, I don't know why. I mean, I don't we ought to make it clear in either. case people think we're ignoring them. No, we're not. I, yeah, for some reason, are you seeing YouTube? Let me. Uh, uh, get us yeah, there are nine. It's uh, YouTube says there are nine watching. Yeah, yeah, so why have um, we seen anything? Mm, don't know. I'm not sure. If anybody is, well, we know people are, are, are watching. If someone is, if someone's just just posted uh, a chat, just even it's a quick hello. Let's just see if that comes up. Maybe it'll force it. Maybe um, nobody said anything. <laughs> well, they, no, 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 but I'm also, good not, I'm not also not seeing. Um, oh no, we have. Yeah, no, we have. We have got. We have got people chatting, including Carl Ellsworth is in the chat on YouTube. I can see it, so I don't know why that's not coming up. Guys, please don't think we're ignoring you. Um, we can't yeah. see it on our screen, but we've got it on YouTube. Yeah, um, we have no. And we see up where it says live. I see no numbers of uh, viewers yeah. either. So somehow, yeah. I mean, I'm glad it went out. I was afraid because mm. I, 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 I was trying. Is to it on check, Twitter too? Yeah, I am. We yeah, are on Twitter, but sorry about yeah. that. We're not seeing the chat. Steve, can okay. you? Yeah, I monitor keep an eye the on chat it. Yeah, from your side, and we'll just talk yeah. about it. We can't post it, but I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, what I'm going to do That's too is bad. I'm going to keep it playing, yeah, um, live on and I'll keep the sound down. Um, I'll just turn. Oh, two seconds, guys. Sorry, turning oh, that off. Great, I get to um, hear so myself got, talk. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so we've got Mike uh, Mike Schramm's in the chat. Stephen Atts there. Carl Ellsworth, the Carl oh, Ellsworth, ooh. is in the chat. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's already come up with a good idea, a good name for the pen, the Bright Style Pen. <laughs> nice. Oh man, <laughs> I got to get him one. You know, being our writer. Yeah, he, 
Yeah, well, quite. Yeah, you're going to need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then if it's dark, you can use the thing. I'll get them too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll Stephen get them Atz, too. Stephen Atz says he's waving. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We'll yeah. keep an eye on so, it. That's great that's stuff. A, no, well, great. That's I. I'm sorry. It's like I've, if I didn't seem 100 percent engaged, I was kind of trying to figure out that issue. Yeah. While, yeah. while I'm doing my first ever commercial, I'm trying to problem solve. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Well, the enthusiasm an, goes way down. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll keep an eye on the chat uh, through YouTube, yeah. <laughs> and Thank I'll try you. not to stare at myself at the, while I'm doing it, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, yeah, so keep sure. the chats coming, guys, and uh, and hi to, to Carl who's joining for the first time tonight, and everyone else, of course. Um, and uh, take a take a bow, Mike Schramm, for your yeah. international marketing endeavors. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was really really cool, Mike. So uh, um, let me see. How did I? There it is. All right. Let me uh, take out a couple of these. Let's get to, uh, let me get the, we'll get going on HT experiences here. Mm -hmm. I'm having a little, little uh, trouble back here. All right, here we go. All right. All right. Now, why aren't I seeing it? All right. Are we ready to get, we have to get to this stuff right away. Uh, because as we were joking about before, this could be the entire show. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> so what do we got? What do we got coming up first? Hi huh, guys. What else? John wick four. the, uh, should we, we got to go spoiler free, but right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people, have I mean, it. he no? kills a bunch of people. Um, a yeah. uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I got to tell you, this is one movie. I mean, even Steve, I think would agree is not meant to be watched on your phone. As much as we just introduced <laughs> this, Steve, please. I know I've I, now got a stand. I mean, come I on. Know. You're in promoting it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, Steve's like, Ooh, I don't even have to go into the cinema room anymore. I can just <laughs> prop it up on my phone. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. So. I guess Steve, did you like this? Because you, this is an awfully close close up. Yeah, the, the, that. Yeah, this. I was gonna get one of his. Did like, you his bump eyeball. your head on the screen? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. I mean, obviously, that's a still from the film. It's a, it's a thing. I know. But I, I was gonna get a photo of his eyeball and then just yeah. say that'll show you how much I liked it. <laughs> oh. Just for, for anybody listening for the first time, by the way, Deej a couple of weeks ago said that he can tell whether I like a film or not by where, how far back I am when I take the photo of the screen. Um, so, <laughs> what was the uh, movie? It was <laughs> uh, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like, and I even <laughs> zoomed in on that just to get it. Yes. If I showed you the actual picture he sent, it was, it was literally like League of Their Own, the, the second baseman. Hey, <laughs> way back. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh man no it's crazy but uh, yeah. but yeah so you we so what have we seen it on then you've seen it on Clyde Escape 4K and John you yes. and I have seen the 4K disc yes yeah you right. both have seen the 4K disc uh this is and John's got that one now how is this working do you guys get different it's it, does it, it's a it rolling rotate? it's rolling. it's mm -hmm. just a rolling it's video credits mm -hmm. so there's no still yeah. menu there okay um, so we just yeah. shot different parts of the the still yeah. which is pretty yeah. cool yeah hmm. um it is kind of funny like you don't really need the title you know what disc you put in right right so it's <laughs> <laughs> right it's only sense. it's only irritating because we have to take pictures of them we have a show <laughs> otherwise it, it, i like it obviously i, I like when, it more <laughs> i hate when bad but, things happen to good people you know right <laughs> <laughs> you try and try but yeah so hmm. um who wants to start off? <laughs> uh, 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 what's to say? Let's, should, we, should we do the movie first and let's talk about the film? So, Because I think this is now the first time all three of us have been together and have seen it all together. Because, John, mm -hmm. you saw it in the cinemas, didn't you, or theatres? You I saw it there. Did. yes. And then DJ and I saw it at home. Um. Yeah. In the in theatre rooms. Yep. Um. Because and you thought quite a lot of it, didn't you, John? In the theatres, you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'll say again what I said then. I felt it long, and um, again, by the time you get to the fourth installment of a of a franchise like this, you're starting to ramp things up to 
a level of absurdity that <laughs> starts to get a little hard to swallow. But but I mean, it's a John Wick movie. It's an action film. I mean, it 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 just bangs when it comes to the oh, whole theater. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I liked the movie. I just felt like if he killed 20 less people in every scene, we could have shaved 30 minutes off of this and not really <laughs> lost a whole a whole bunch. So <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 and again, I might go back to my cake analogy. It's like, you know, someone gives you an entire chocolate cake and you're thinking, oh, this is great. And after sort of three or four slices, you start to feel a little bit unwell. And then right. after about three quarters <laughs> of it, you're thinking, I've had enough now. I think I'm, I, I, it's, it's fantastic. I'm loving it. But I'm feeling a little bit ill. <laughs> and and there are definitely scenes in this that that feel like this is the, okay. We get the message. The right. stairs thing, you know, the twenty two, right. uh, two hundred and twenty two <laughs> steps. Uh, you know, so the person that I watched it with a couple of days ago said. <laughs> He's gone to the bottom again. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. wife rolled her eyes in the theater. <laughs> I could see her rolling her whole head. It's like, oh my god. And the so best part is, like, we have three minutes, and yeah, <laughs> somehow yeah. he fights his way back to the top again. But that's so. It. It, it. So it it, it does. It is. It is. You can have too much of a good thing, and I think there is a little bit of that creeping in here. I mean, uh, yeah, but it is still never less than entertaining. I, I mean, as much as I'd say that you know you feel a little bit sick, I was never bored. Not even oh, for no. a second. <laughs> you know, you're never looking at it thinking, oh, God, can we get to the next fight, please? Because it's kind of one big fight. Um, yeah. And, and, and just, yeah. And so the, as a film, it's never, it never fails to entertain. Um, and I'm so told, then by what's the, the problem? Well, See, now it, you yeah. just answered, you came full circle on your entire analogy, right? So yeah. it'd be, imagine if somebody said, you can have the entire cake and not mm. feel sick afterwards. But mm. you just said it's entertaining the entire time. So mm. if you're in the middle of being entertained, you say, stop, stop entertaining <laughs> me so much. It's That's what I felt at the end of the movie. Yeah. I was like, yes, when he goes back down the stairs, I laughed. I wasn't upset. I was like, yeah. oh my God, this is so fun. Like they are going over the top. But I also feel... Let me throw this in. I think I told you guys this last week at the after show. It w it's it is well grounded compared to like the later Fast and Furious movies because they try to ground it in the way that hey, like the suit stop the bullet. So you see him do this. You know, he pulls his suit up and dodges bullets. But so it's not like otherwise. If they didn't have that suit thing, these gunfights would be over like that, right? Mm. So mm -hmm. they find creative ways to try and ground it a little bit he's not a superhero he's not bulletproof he's just supposed to be really good at a really absurd thing and each ep <laughs> each movie got, wor got uh, worse and worse but more extravagant over the top, done yeah, over yeah. The top. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i think that's the fun it, it was mm. just it, it I, like you said we're not it's it'd be one thing if after three hours you were like you know mm. like G. Cornell actually agree with you, and he said he was nodding off. I mean, I will say, oh, I, would, yeah. I, I was never bored, but I really right. would have loved to see 30 minutes less of this movie. Like, I would not yeah. have complained at all. That's not to say right. I was bored or that I wasn't entertained, mm -hmm. but, like, the days of, you know, two-hour movies in the theaters just don't right. exist anymore. Like, mm -hmm. I just don't think we need to be in the theaters for, like, four hours, you know, because you have to sit through 30 minutes at the beginning before these things even start. <laughs> And then, yeah. you know, at home, it's a little different because you can take mm. it in chunks or you can pause mm. it and go have dinner or go to the bathroom or do whatever. But, right. you know, like these three and four hour theater. And and this just felt like it didn't need to be that long. It wasn't like Lawrence of Arabia where it was just story, 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 story. You know, mm. it was. It, yeah. It, I mean, I understand from Chad Stahelski, the director, that there is a four hour cut of this. Yeah. And it's, and it's, I don't so he need that. Yeah, <laughs> there's, a whole, there's, whole, there's an entire <laughs> subplot cut out. There are characters, entire characters that are cut that, that didn't make it that are going to be put back into this four hour plus cut, which you know is going to come to theaters and then it's going to come. Oh, it's going to go to yeah. Well, I'm going to have again. to buy this movie again because if yeah. it's if it's plot and characters and mm. story, I'm in for it. 
if mm. it's just killing 30 more people in every scene <laughs> i don't need to see that you know <laughs> right so there's the, we um, have a we have some cross section of opinion in the chat guys so we've got carl uh, carl says that uh, he agrees that it's one of the few movies that's allowed to be 3 hours long so, uh, you know, fair play. And then we've got um, Chris Brown, who says that uh, John Wick 4 was great um, and the overhead interior scene was fantastic. More about yes. that in a moment, I suspect. Yep. Um, and then, um, and uh, but we've got Mr. Motown, who says the movie definitely made me sick, didn't enjoy it. Ooh. Okay, Oliver Stone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Oliver it? Stone didn't like it. Yeah, no. <laughs> sounds just like Oliver there. Yeah. Not to belittle yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, your comment, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carl says he recommends the behind-the-scenes featurette on the Arc de Triomphe uh, traffic circle shootout. I mean, I'm sure that, yeah, I haven't seen any of the special features. No. I must admit, yeah. um, that looked kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But um, but yeah no it, it is a good film it's it is it's it's of a piece it's exactly like the other three but moved to that nth degree as you said it's it definitely ramps up the stakes there's, there's no doubt about that yeah. um, but I do think yeah I agree I think this could have been a mini series you know we could have and I would have enjoyed it just as much if right. not more because um, it does feel at the end like just uh, how much more have I got how many yeah. more people um, and and yeah I do think you can have too much of a of a good thing it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's you know it's terribly bad but it it is odd can you guys still hear me by the way oh yes. yeah yep. yeah we okay, got my you. screen's gone completely now which is very yep. strange um, your lighting okay. is gone yeah let me yeah. read this Oops, we got a, this what did you guys think of this a john wick forever he says this is g cornell he says just before the fight scene in paris the lady at the mic says paint him red and the music that follows is paint it black <laughs> Because it seemed odd when I watched it. Did you have a similar reaction? And oh, I, I said she was just playing off of mm. the song, right? Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I thought the same thing. I was like, paint it black. Because I was singing it out, but I thought just like him, but I'm like, yeah, it's just fun. I didn't think it was an error. I just thought, I did think the same thing as him, though. I did actually think that. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, that well, Stephen At Stephen At sorry, Stephen At just says ahead. in the chat. He says I can't make it through three hours in the theater. I need that bathroom break by two hours fifteen. It's a home theater benefit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually um, I made it through the whole thing, no problem. Um, <laughs> are we now comparing bladder control? Yeah, I was gonna say I I don't. I, I, yeah. I, I, about two hours in, I'm uh, I need a break. So, Deej, can we uh, can we have some bright side home theater diapers? Yeah. Uh, I think that's what we really need. <laughs> um, can we have uh, things on that? Um, <laughs> and with lights on as well, with lights. <laughs> yeah. We put the logo. Yeah. <laughs> You're either going to, I mean, I don't want to do an either thing on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I have no idea where you balance your phone. But anyway, that's that's fine. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> uh, but that you know that would that could be useful to everyone. Yeah, Stephen Hatt says logo depends. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. But yeah, I mean, I, I like I said, I just think it feels like an opulent feast where there's just so much of it. Doesn't mean what you're eating is not very nice, but there's just there's only so much you can have. Um, but yeah, so so that's the movie. <laughs> yeah. For the committed theater theater goer, <laughs> it's like, it's the, the imagination has been captured. Yeah, <laughs> For the committed theater goer. I'm picturing, I'm picturing it with like a cup holder on one side and a popcorn holder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure where the cup should be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'd be like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> get get on it, man. Get designing, Deej. Come on. <laughs> guy's been here for five hours. It's the opposite of the beer can hat. Right? It goes the other way. <laughs> just slide, yeah, just put it in a tube oh. and it goes the other way. <laughs> just see them waddling out of the theater of a really long film, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just all filled up. ounces of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of the Rings triple feature, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> whole pack ready. To, goodness me. Uh, um, get, getting wrinkly down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, all right. All right so, back to John Wick. Back to yeah. about over the top. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're on the bottom. Um, yeah, exactly. Over the top, <laughs> under the belt. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, so home theatre then. So so we all oh. like the film. No one's saying they don't like it apart right. from uh, Mr. No. Motown, which, you know, which is fair enough. I mean, I, you know, again, you're with Oliver Stone. He didn't like it either. He said it was just stupid and meaningless, and just didn't get it that he really. Um, but then again, he's a combat vet. So I imagine <laughs> that, you know, it's, it's a different thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. Now, in terms of home theatre, I mean, are we all agreed on the R word that this is reference? Yes. Audio and video? Oh, God, yeah. From the first second. It's got second. to be, hasn't it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think there's any sensible <sighs> argument to say otherwise. I mean, I, I've, I've got a, a just the one chap um, uh, timestamp, Deej. Um, it's from um, second one to the last second. So I've got those. So that's my timestamp. So that was easy. It didn't take me long to write that down. Yeah. At least you narrowed it down to two hours yeah. and fifty minutes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's it's it, what struck me about. The, I mean, the picture's beautiful. And, but it, but it's it's in and it enhances what is already gorgeous production design. Right. I mean the, this this has been lit like you would not believe it. The the locations on this are ridiculously good. I mean that that shot again. This is all spoiler free. You know, but the shot down the hallway of the of that ornate um, palace in. I mean, it looks like the 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 palace of Versailles, but I don't know if mm. it is that. Um, and you know the 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 the, the lighting, the the detail from the roof on the on the ceiling and, and all that stuff is just ridiculously gorgeous to look at. Um, and the whole film just seems to be that way. You know, even even again, throwaway shots like you're showing there. You know, of the yeah. the, the detail, you can see the pores on her nose. You can see the yeah. you know the, the sheen on the lips. You can see that the individual details of the and that's the that's the flipping loading screen. <laughs> yeah, you know that's the that's not even the movie. I mean, it looks better in the film. Um, yeah. So it, so it looks incredible. And the only thing that lo- is better than that is the audio. But what it, what I found. Most interesting about the audio is it, I mean, it's as bombastic as anything, isn't it? I mean, again, minute one, second one, as soon as the, and again, this is right at the beginning. So as right. soon as so that as first fist, fist yeah. hits the board, the whole room rearranges itself. You know, the cat never gets seen again. Um, and you know, you, you have various sort of Richter scale warnings going off. Um, and so, and, and so there is, it, go, it it's bombastic as anything, but what struck me about it, and I've only watched it once in the cinema room. I'm going to watch it many, many, many more times. Is the, is the little subtle things that leapt out to me. There is a bit in, again, or spoiler free, towards the beginning where there is a fight in the hotel um, in Japan. Mm. I think, again, that's not a spoiler because that's in the trailer. Where Donnie Yen, it's that man again. Yeah. Um, yep. It has a gun and he's shooting it. So it, I don't know. I think, is it an AR 15? I don't know. A machine gun. I'm British. I don't know guns. Right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he's shooting a machine gun of some form. And as he and he and he leaps across the screen, he's shooting towards the camera, and he is still firing as he goes across the screen and goes off to well, my left camera, camera right, I suppose. And the gun sound pans across the room as he yeah. slides, and I, and that was a really not subtle little effect, but it moved off. Most most movies would have kept that front and center, but it goes with him off the screen. Right. Which I thought was great, um, and there's another bit where um, John Wick is is going to see someone and is is um, being suspended in some way, and you can hear the rope in the ceiling over overhead, and you can hear it behind as well, creaking and and moving, which I thought was great, um, and also a fun little scene where he takes off his jacket, and you can hear the slugs that have hit the, yes. hit the, hit the thing oh, yeah. falling on the ground, which I thought was a very funny little throwaway audio cue. I thought that was great. It, um, it happened with all the layers. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah. You could yeah. hear yes. it like, it, it, the, yeah. the, the ting, 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 and then he took off the vest. It was like, ting, 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 ting. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah like, it's great. With, it's such a funny they, thing. They kind of <laughs> moved as well. Yeah. It was, mm-hmm. yeah, the audio... Yeah. What else? Did you have anything else? Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, so whilst you've got, as I said, this is why, why I think this is reference is because you get the bombast, you get the, the force and you get the power, but you also get the little subtle effect as well. And I love how that all plays together in, in, in such a, you know, long film. Um, so yeah, that's why I think not only is the audio, uh, the video, but also the audio is reference. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think <laughs> and I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, to balance that, let me, I, I like the video part um, for a John Wick movie. And this is one of the reasons I went back and watched the first one was I wanted to see like, I mean, probably two extremes here. They had no budget, 
really on the first one and now you mm. see them with a budget and and uh what's the director's name again chad stahelski there you go he was mm. I, I listened to him after i saw the movie on um he was on rogan joe rogan's podcast and just talking about everything it, and it, what was really great is that i had heard him after i saw four and the entire time watching four my son and i are sitting there and i'm like there's another shot and another and i'm just talking picture quality and i was like there is one shot that i want to take and turn into an oil painting and hang it and be like outside my theater and you wouldn't know it's a shot from john wick and mm. to duplicate the colors and everything that they did there it, it's so artistically shot this entire movie mm. the colors mm -hmm. the vibrancy the the gradations the hues that they put they overlay in this and the 4k the hdr it just brings all of that out to you and it's i mean him you know his hair the dark suits everything the contrast against the neon just like it like we were saying in that picture it's not neon but these are the pictures <laughs> this is what this entire movie looks like and you want to say it's over the top but it's like it's hard to describe. It's like, I want to say it's like high contrast color because mm. when you think of high contrast, it dips really fast into the dark, into the light, mm. but it's, it's not that. It's just how vibrant everything was through the movie and how well shot it was. And you look at some of the cityscapes that they showed and it, of anywhere, but it just... The entire time you're looking at the screen and that that's why I was like at 250, you go back through this, you aren't bored, especially when mm. you go back through it a second time and you, you you look at other things that you didn't notice the first time. There's so much to take in with this movie. And that's why I think it's reference. It's like the picture quality is so good on this action thriller you know, guys movie, shoot em up guy movie, you know? And it's like, it, 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 how well shot it was is, is amazing to me. And then to hear the director say, he's like, I love color. That's what he said on, on Rogan. He's like, I just love color. He goes, I just wanted to, to really utilize that. And I love to manipulate it and all. And I was like, oh my God. And it's like, it really all came. I mean, when you watch them all, I think two, you see it more three, definitely. And then in mm -hmm. four, it's like the culmination, but there go back and watch the first one. And you'll see, he's kind of just getting his feet wet. It's like, he mm -hmm. was, and as, like I said to you guys last week, he's, he was a stunt man. He was yeah. he was mm -hmm. he was Keanu Reeves stuntman in The Matrix, and mm. now he's directed these four movies, um, starting with the John Wick, and they had no budget on that, and nobody wanted it. They were having trouble finding somebody to take it because they're like, "Who's going to want to see this?" <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so, and now and over a billion it. dollars later. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, so, it's it, it, yeah, it's it, it's awesome, isn't it? It's very cool. Yeah. What did you make of the audio at home, John? Uh, I mean, I don't have anything to add different than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I I just agree. I mean, Boom. I think it was reference, <laughs> start to finish. Yeah. Um, the you know you've mentioned the the fist on the boards at the beginning. Some of the other mm. scenes you mentioned, but the the overhead shot, the scene with the um, oh yeah. Dragon's Breath. Uh, yeah, Dragon's Breath. Um, <laughs> that was I mean, those it, things. Yeah. yeah, those things were awesome. Uh, you know, mm. um, I mean, the sound every time he fired one of those things off was was crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, I'm not as eloquent as either of you guys, but <laughs> I, I can't disagree or I mean or agree strongly enough with everything you guys said. So yeah, yeah that even Dragon's even Breath. Not, well, yep. Joe Rogan was like, oh, my God, talk about over the top. And then he told him, he goes, those are real. Mm. <laughs> he goes, what? Well, they're, they're, they're incendiary rounds. I mean, they're, right. you know, it's, it, it's, it's been around a while, I think. And I don't know yeah. anything about guns. We've established that. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> they don't go um, through you, though. They won't go no, through you. No. They, they no. embellished on that part, but mm. they, especially with a bulletproof vest. But um, they'll, they'll, they'll get you a bit hot under the collar, though. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And they're, they're but, a yeah, flaming nuisance. Will, <laughs> that overhead shot of him it where you could it was like a video game and mm, they purposefully yes. i think he i never heard this anyway but i think he 
purposely was like, let's make it look like a video game. Like we all do. And it's like, he even was like walking into the rooms and looking around and then picking up guns, grabbing more mm. clips. Like you do right. in a video game when you're playing third person video game. And you're like, just wasn't it, stepping on any health potions or anything. So. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> the only thing we didn't get to hear was like Mario or something like, oh, he got coins. He got more of those coins. But yeah, it, it, I thought that was because of the the way the movie flows, you get to that part. And again, the movie's over the top. But as soon as that camera pans up like that, after everything else you've been taking in, now all of a sudden it is a guy's movie. Like you just like all of a sudden you're like, Oh my God, it's like, I'm playing John wick video game. And it's like, shoot that guy. And he turns and shoots him. <laughs> you're like, What if you felt like you were in control? <laughs> See, I, I don't, I'm not sure that it is a guy movie as such. Not, not as, not as, I mean, we, we had blood sport the other day, didn't we? We had things like, you know, raging fire and, and those kinds of movies, which are, which are really, we call them really blokey kind of movies. Really. They are quite, maybe male focus because the women are, seem to be in these movies there just for the just to look pretty and they don't actually do anything and the, the guys do all this and oh, you know Halle I think Barry in these movies pretty good she, she well, this kind is, of this is what I mean no, 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 <laughs> well, quite, this is what I mean about blood sport and that kind of thing whereas in this in these movies actually I, I don't think they are I think they, they the reason you get to a billion dollars plus is because it actually appeals to more than just you know the male demographic actually spreads across and and i i know a number of, of women that have seen this film and love it absolutely love it and really? are bigger fans than oh yeah 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 i, I think My the appeal of these movies is wider all of them yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah i think this is wider yeah. than that because that's how you that's how you get to a billion dollars you can't yeah. do that if the movie's just for guys you know there's not enough of us <laughs> well i'm just saying like he even said when they set out to make these it was like guys mm. what are guys like and he's like, mm. dogs, maybe, maybe cars, John one. guns, and music, you know? <laughs> and it's like, and that's what they all are. Mm. And then in that, and like this one, you got the car, he's like brought the car back mm. uh, or he had the car back. And uh, yeah, it's, mm. it, but yeah, no, it, I agree with you that it's, mm. that's how you get to a billion dollars by appealing to a lot of, you know, mm. a wide market, but mm. it's not beaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, it, that, that is true. That is true. <laughs> but you do get a lot of like really good female characters. Say, Halle Berry was fantastic yeah. in that. I kept expecting there to be a link between her and Tracker in this. I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't get why they'd do exactly the same thing and not be linked in some way. I kept expecting something to come out to say, "Oh, it's a son, partner, brother." You know, yeah. whatever it might be. That that's the only thing that's slightly. I was just expecting that that was going to happen, and it doesn't. Oh, the other thing. There is one note of criticism I do have very slightly. Um, Bill Skarsgård is a fantastic actor and he's very, very good in it. And he's very capable. He's also one of the better things about Barbarian that we talked about a while back. Um, but his French accent um, oh, is a sort of comedy French accent that, that, that I, I don't know why they didn't just get an, a French actor in for that. Either make him American or whatever his normal accent is, or bring in a French actor because his talk about the rules is not very convincing. I just expected he was going to get a beret and a striped vest and, so, and a baguette or something at some point because <laughs> it was just very, very, very broad, shall we say. Um, oh. That So I did have a slight issue with that. It, it, he doesn't have loads of dialogue, which is good news. But when he's doing his talking at the beginning, I was beginning to think, oh, come on. You know, this is a bit Cluzo. Where's the Pink Panther? <laughs> so, you know, I, I thought he was going to have a pet minky. I, again, um, which is <laughs> I don't. Did you find it? Do you find that an issue, John? I think that in in this is country, that a European I don't thing. Think we, yeah, I don't. I think it's European. Well, it might be, but I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, I didn't bump into it as much as Steve, mm. but I did. <laughs> I didn't did think you? it was authentic at all. I mean, no. <laughs> I could tell that it, you know, it wasn't yeah, natural. It just, but. Yeah, it, it just, I, I mean, I, I would have thought there are some fantastic French actors out there. Why not bring in one of those to do it if he's got to be French? Um, but anyway, because I, because I, well, I and, the, he, and he didn't have to be anything. That's no, the whole point. No, exactly. He could have been yeah, anything. Quite. So. Yeah, yeah, because he doesn't yeah. do anything specifically French, does he? Other than right. he lives in France, apparently. Um, but even then, he seems to bounce around the globe. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what the what the th thought process was there. But you know, it's a minor critique of a very, 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 very good film <laughs> and disc. Um, so, yeah, Chris Brown, by the way, has come up with the bright side catheter, Deej. 
So, you know, it's the other option. <laughs> Jeez. We've got a whole collection here, mate. We're yeah. going to end up with a bright side Zimmer frame, a walker, you know. We'll have uh, a you know, bright side sleeping pillow in the... Uh, <laughs> That's still just a pen. It's not a catheter. <laughs> bright side pudding bowl. Uh, <laughs> bright side dentures. It'll be all there. <laughs> Jello. God. <laughs> oh, so. All yeah. right. Anything else on this? Other than everyone listening that doesn't have it needs to buy it straight away. Yeah. Yes. This is definitely, yeah, definitely a must own. Um, oh, tell me this. Happened. Do you stream yeah. it then? Would you, Do we suggest streaming it? Great question. Um, if you're not collecting physical, absolutely. <laughs> but if you can. If, you're col- if for the best possible mm-hmm. version, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. Um, it, well, no, for the best possible, no. But it, it's, hmm. I mean, it, it's. I don't a, think it's, you'll get quite the quite the thump in the base if you stream it um i think mm. the video the visuals will be comparable. The visuals will be yeah um you know these all the streams always seem to look really nice it's we've said mm. it before i'm not saying anything new it's the sound you know that mm. seems to be lacking i, I wonder if it'll but, struggle a bit with the with the gradations of the coloring and stuff as well this this seems like a movie that's very very um a movie of, of color as you said, you know, and, and extremes from light mm. to dark in the same frame and giving it that three-dimensional sort of look. And I wonder if their extremes will cope with that or whether you're getting a lot of pixelation and a lot of kind of noise in the, in See, the, in the image. I was just going to say, I think so much of the experience of this movie is the audio, though. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's the See, one I've, thing you don't want to be lacking. Right. So right. I would think that you'd want to buy physical if, you know, if you buy physical. Um you know, right. Like DJ said, if you if you only ever stream anyway, then yeah, you know. I it's I've told people like I I told Greg, you know, Meg and Greg, I'm like, don't don't get into physical yet because but you don't know what you're missing. So it, you, and a lot of, and they don't have a system to hear the difference to get the difference. Mm-hmm. They don't have that kind of system. So it's a it's a loaded question because. Is physical, is the 4K disc, I, we talked about this online this or on Twitter this weekend about the difference between Blu-ray, 4K, streaming, and it's like most people don't have the ability to even see the difference between 4K and Blu-ray because it, it's, it's not that big of a difference when you go, you know, 65 inches and below for the resolution. The HDR is a difference. But even at that, if you don't know what you're looking for, I, how many people I've seen, we all have these stories growing up. People don't know. They think they're seeing the best version and it's actually a distorted version of the other one, a la 1080p when it first came out. <laughs> people were stretching the televisions. So if, if you have a system that can take care of the 4K, that you can see the difference, you know it. You know, and it's like mm. you've you've spent a lot of money to get there. I can't, but the stream on this, it, uh, if is great, streaming is great right now. But mm. it's it's another level to to say like, well, you have to get the 4K on this, and it's mm. I just have a hard time answering that question because mm. it depends on the system you have. Oh, fair enough. But I think if you can get it. You, 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 and and again, I think you're right. Yeah, and, and again, but look, if there's ever a sort of question for a John Wick film, a loaded one is an appropriate sort of question. Um, <laughs> right. It's a, it's a proper, it's a proper caliber. Um, then uh, <laughs> I don't have my suit on. I didn't dodge it appropriately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just start doing this. <laughs> um, well, we'll have bulletproof bright side diapers. Um, so the, uh, the yeah, I forgot what I was saying now. It's <laughs> just going off. But yeah, so I think yeah, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, if like you've I'm got the system to take advantage, <laughs> yeah, he's got his pen out. Look, any chance to plug the pen? <laughs> Um, right, so next week we'll, we'll have the diapers. Well, here we are, talking all yeah. about it. Look at us go. <laughs> it's only a plug if you sell it, though, Steve. Your DJ's allergic oh, to money. Yeah, that's so true. That is he's true. He's just giving everything away. <laughs> that's it. John Pfeiffer go. and the Dominican wanted to buy a T-shirt, but DJ's just sending him one. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Send me the link for the T-shirt. Oh, I'll send you one. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> this is great stuff. Yeah, people um, run. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Dominican so I can get a free shirt real quick. Tens of listeners around the world are planning their meetup so they can get free yeah. T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and you I'll know run you'll be sending at the them. beach he'll send us crap <laughs> yeah. um so Tens yeah of but, people <laughs> yeah <laughs> no man but no it's a cool disc and i think if you can get it and you've got the system to take advantage do it and if not then then you know that's fine but it is a great movie um and i'm wondering spoiler free whether we'll have a five i imagine we will Somehow, some way, because again, a billion dollars ain't, well, ain't enough for it's Lionsgate. It's not a spoiler. There's already a talk of a spin series, off. a spin off yeah, series. Well, it's, it's filming. Well, it's, it's been filming yeah. the There's Continental the, and Ballerina. The Continental and Ballerina. And then, yep. yeah. I mean, you guys saw the, the end credit scene, I'm assuming. So, no. Is there an end credit no. scene? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. There oh, is oh, an yeah. end credit scene. There, okay, so okay. there is an end credit scene, which I won't spoil, but that definitely Ooh. sets up either a yeah. spinoff or John Wick 5. So, uh -huh. um, Ooh, I'll yeah. have to watch that later. <laughs> yeah. So, I yeah, there, was. Um, there is. Uh -huh. I mean, it's end-end end credit, right? If I remember Yeah, all right. the way at the end. Yeah, yeah so yeah, just yeah. fast forward to the end of the credits. Can I just check? Is it Patrick Stewart? No. <laughs> just one. Okay, fine. Just, just sort of. Whew. Well, that's, that's a spoiler okay. in itself. Now you know who <laughs> yeah. it, one person well, out of the billions on the planet you know, you right. know isn't in it. You know who uh, it is not. Uh, it's not yeah. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> uh, right. So. All right. I told you we could do an hour on John Wick. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, no, we did an hour. No, not just true. John Wick. We also talked about. The pen. Diapers. The pen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, John. I've never promoted anything more than this, and it's free. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, it does uh, this, way, and it uh, does this, and it's a it's a light, and it you know cooks yeah. your dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. How much? How much can I get this for? Nothing. Right. <laughs> Nothing. It's Nothing. free. Just <laughs> all you gotta do is <laughs> send a self addressed stamped envelope. No. <laughs> um, by the way, guys, Omar is in the chat. So hi, Omar. Hope hey, you're doing okay, Omar, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. Um, yeah, again, just for those that might have joined in whilst we've been chatting, because we have got quite a few people in the chat, actually. Um, we can't see the, 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 the comments on our normal screen for reasons we know not. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of monitoring it on YouTube. So they're a little bit slower than normal, and we can't put them on the screen. Um, so just in case people are thinking we're ignoring them. Yeah. I mean, we are, obviously, right. but we're just trying to ignore them. Well, DJ and I are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, I didn't even hear what you were saying. He's ignoring all. He's ignoring yeah. us, too, Steve. I, 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 know, I was trying to figure out if I could find a way to get them to work. And it's, That's weird, isn't yeah. it? We've never had this before. It's odd, isn't it? No. Oh, no. I'm wondering. We have, we're, we're gentlemen of a certain age. We're having performance issues. These things happen. <laughs> That's why we have the pen. <laughs> <laughs> and some rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Family show, kids. Come on. Yeah. Sorry. I know. Oh, Dad, God. You're get a lot of mileage about? out of that pen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. What are we, <laughs> what are we going to. Uh, when, guys, come on. We're supposed to be professional focus. here. Yeah, yeah focus. focus. Lock it. Lock it down. Let's stop having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's bring this back to a family show, Steve. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this quickly because we have talked about this a lot, and mm. I and you know, so I'll, I'll do it fast. So this is Super Mario Brothers, the movie. You may have heard of it. Yeah. Um, and this was on 4K disc with Dolby Atmos, and I had to import this from the good old US of A, because it does not come out here until the end of July. Um, so I, ha I couldn't wait. Um, so I love the movie. It is still one of my favorite films of this year. I think it's my favorite animated movie of the year so far of the ones I've seen. Um, even though it skews really young and I am far too old for it, I still think it's great fun and I really like it. Um, and so then, so let's come to the HT side of it. So, so the video, DJ, as I was watching this, as I put this on, I could hear your voice as I was watching it. Uh -oh. And I, and I, well, no, because I remember you saying, because I, when I saw the screener, I was saying, oh my God, this is going to look amazing. This is going to be HDR heaven and it's going to look fantastic. And I remember you being actually very, very, well, not, not very reserved, but actually a little bit reserved about the, 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 the quality of its video. And as I was watching it, I was thinking, you are 100% right. 
Um, it it does. Thank it, you. it has it. It has That's it. That's it for this week, everybody. <laughs> yeah, get your pets. Get your pets. Yeah, pet. <laughs> <laughs> Diapers at the door. Because um, it you because at times it looked. I remember you saying that it looked at times like there was almost like noise in the image and stuff like that. And you realize when you look at it, that's atmospherics, that's deliberate. It's yeah. smoke and it's, it's stuff. Um, and that was disappointing to me when I first saw it. Cause I was, I was looking at this, this, the snow at the very beginning and it looked like noise. It looked like digital noise. And I was thinking, Oh my God, what, what was going on? And only when you look closely, you see it is the snow and it's smoke, as you said. Um, yeah. but that was disappointing for me. And I was thinking, Oh, I really want this to look pristine and look amazing. Um, so initially I was a little disappointed in how it looked, but it gets better and better the more it goes on. And I think you, you adjust to it. And I did. Um, and by the time you get to the rainbow road sequence, it looks gorgeous. And then the whole ending looks fantastic. Um, with the, the, the colors just leap off the screen. So that's really good. The audio is, is again, you were right. It's, it's solid. It's okay. It's not demo worthy. I'm not going to go mm. and dig this out. If someone says, Oh, show me what you're, you know, rearrange the room for me. Show me what, uh, you know, what Cinema George can do. I'm not going to put this on. Uh, not for that, not unless they're very young kids. Um, yeah. because I don't, cause it's not, it's, it doesn't go super deep. It doesn't absolutely throw everything at you in a, for surround. Um, and so that's a little disappointing, but mm. overall, I really enjoyed it and I'm glad I imported it. I didn't want to wait. I'm going to see this film hundreds of times because I do like it. You know, again, I know it's not for me, but I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, you know, I'm way too old for this stuff and yet I still really enjoyed it. Um, so, so yeah, I'm glad I imported it. It's well worth getting if you like the film and you've got again you've got the system to take advantage of it then then i would get it. it 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 is fun um but yeah not the transformative experience i was hoping for on in 4k but you know that's fine it's just the nature of the, the of the film yeah. i don't think it's it's not a disc authoring error or anything like that i think it's just the movie um and yeah. you know there it is so yeah so so i agree exactly in every way with what you said thank you I got thank you and, yeah <laughs> and i mean it's uh puss in boots was better i thought sonic 2 mm. was was better than yeah that's not puss animated though can we call that animated well I mean, the sonic animation parts action. of it though but the but the mm. audio in sonic oh, yeah. 2 oh. is just yeah 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 yeah, yeah. just crazy right mm. yeah uh, mm -hmm. puss in boots audio was crazy and yeah. their animation yeah um but it, it was like maybe mario brothers was like too bright like the entire thing, mm. like it's tough to, I mean, if everything's really dark, you have no contrast. If everything's really bright, you have a lack of contrast. You need that, mm. the dynamics of going between the two. And maybe this mm. one was just so bright and vibrant, it, like the video game, you know, yeah. um, mm -hmm. it was, I thought, uh, detailed enough. I mean, and to say it's not reference isn't just, I mean, it's, it's no slouch. It's, it's yeah. fantastic, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's just, mm -hmm. But I thought one of the details I liked was when you went into their world, it was you felt like there was a switch in the chi in mm -hmm. the image, like almost more video game like. And when you came out, it was you could see the different um, textures and stuff that they mm -hmm. use. Like there was less. Um, I don't know if it's gradation, but pixelation or something like that. It looked mm. smoother. Like so I noticed yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. so there is some good detail in it. Yeah, stuff, there is. But. You can see texture on Mario's hat. You know, you can see that oh, yeah. they've actually put they put a texture on it and in on the, and his mustache and all that stuff. So it's all there, right. but it's just not I mean, it's not to the level of Puss in Boots at all. No, but I meant like the texture was like the bit rate. Like you know how okay. video games got better? Mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. remember noticing like, ooh, this is like an older version of the game or or the mm -hmm. game. And then, then when they came mm -hmm. out, when they weren't in the game area or doing it something. It, you know what I mean? Like the bit mm. rates changed. It, it, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, the um, almost like going from 1080 to 4K and then back, and you could see the mm. difference and stuff like mm. that. So, um, yeah. But yeah, it, it, there's a lot to take in. And what's fun about it is if you do have kids and you want to watch a home theater movie, there's enough there for the home theater enthusiast to sit through and enjoy this multiple yeah. times while they're watching it with their kids. 
Yeah, you know? that's right. So, and and it is one of those movies that does skew young, so anyone can watch this and not not be you know worried about right. it. Whereas Puss in Boots, I think we said, it, it, I mean, it could be absolutely petrifying Dark. for yeah. younger kids. Um, yeah. So yeah, but it, but it's my favorite animated movie of this year. Puss in Boots, I still think of as last year. So this is this is my animated yeah. film of this year so far. But I haven't seen Elemental yet. Mind you, based on the box office, I don't think anybody whoa, has. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa, back the truck up there. <laughs> what do you consider uh, Across the Spider-Verse? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, forgot that one. Okay, yeah, all right. Then, all right then. Well, that yeah, animated? You, have to, you have to wait yeah. to get it at home and see, right? Well, okay. I'm going to have to see it again anyway because I'm still not sure of that last 20 minutes exactly what happened. Um, so <laughs> I, um, I, I think I will do in the fullness of time. Um, but all right, so uh, yeah, damn. Okay, you got me there. All right, Across the Spider-Verse has got to be then, hasn't it? And then this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I haven't seen Elemental, and I hear it's very good, and, I, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, as I said, very few people have so far. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that out because I've heard very good things. So, you know, we will see. We will see. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, let's pull that one down. Uh, I will go with – John, you don't have anything else, right? I don't have anything home theater wise. I, I I feel I will be remiss if I don't mention the bear real quick because I tweeted about it all week long. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I know you, I know you don't have you a slide for it. Yeah. I, well, I wasn't necessarily planning on talking about it, but um, yeah, the bear uh, season two dropped on Hulu on the twenty second last Thursday. I guess I devoured it in a day and a half. <laughs> um, like a bear. Yeah, absolutely my favorite show of the year. Um, I really liked season one. Season two was elevated um, twofold, at least, <laughs> uh, for season one. Um, I, I know a couple of people, um, uh, uh, Danny Speakers and Omar and um, mm. Tom Bellos also were watching it and um, commenting on it. But this was so well written, so well acted. Um, Jeremy Allen White is the star. You may not be familiar with him. He played Lip on Shameless for a hundred years. Um, if you watched Shameless, um, had some great cameos, um, guest guest spots here. Jamie Lee Curtis was in uh, an episode or two, and she was fantastic. Bob Odenkirk makes an appearance. He's fantastic. Um, you guys uh, definitely watch this show if you haven't watched it. Um, what's it? What's D- it about? DJ's yeah, out. No, I mentioned. I mentioned that it's a bit stressful, so DJ's not going to watch it. Um, <laughs> I tapped out. I think he's, a, it's a, um, he's a he's a chef, so it's restaurant okay. based, mm-hmm. and the stress comes from that. It's not. It's just the stress of being in the kitchen of of okay. a restaurant, um, and kind of what goes on behind the scenes. Um, but it is very, like I said, I, I'm not going to go on forever about it, but it's very well written, um, very well done. And um, like I said, I, I've seen some good shows this year. Ted Lasso comes to mind, um, probably would have been my top, uh, but this I thought was better. Season two was mm. was was better than um, this year's Ted Lasso. It was just great. So um, that's all I have to say about that. Mm, I wonder if it'll be on Disney Plus for us over here then, because we don't have Hulu. Oh, so. you, well, you um, – so I did see a lot of people on Twitter talking about um, you should have season one available wherever, probably mm. Disney Plus. Uh, season two yeah. doesn't drop in the UK or overseas for another two or three weeks. Um, okay. It's All so right. far so it's only – to catch up. Yeah, so far it's only dropped here in the States, I think, but um, everybody else gets it sometime in july but yeah that gives you time to watch season one mm. if you if you okay. haven't so did you did you guys check out that um there was a film on netflix with stephen graham um where he plays a chef it's a it's all done in it was actually done a whole film in one take did you guys mm-hmm. see that if not oh, i will wow. try and find the thing of it, it no. and that's that's set in a kitchen where um all hell is breaking loose and it's kind of and that's an exercise in stress that film um, let yeah. me see if I can just while we're talking about it. Um, so, have you seen this, Deidre? You you're not gonna Mm-mm. not gonna do that. Let me just see if I can find it. Sorry, guys. Let me just see if I can find it super quick because it's it's on Netflix as well. So you guys should be able to get it. Um, but I want to just I can't remember what the name of it was. So let me just try and find out. Sorry, guys, in the chat, I'm just coming off the off the uh, off the stream for a minute. Uh, Stephen Graham, where are you? Um, you guys know who I mean by Stephen Graham, don't you? He's the um he's been in loads of things. Uh, boiling probably, point there it is. 
Okay. It's called Boiling Point. That's the one. Um, if you it. guys haven't seen that, it is it is absolutely crazy. It is a whole movie, so an hour and a half in one single take. It's not, and this is not one where they've fudged it and they've 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 tried to, you know, like nineteen seventeen or you know or uh, you know or any, or you know certain movies we've been watching recently, like Extraction Two, that sort of thing. This is a movie done in one take. It's 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 and it's well worth it. Again, it's very stressful, Deej. You might not want to see it, mate. You will be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, it, but it's it's well done and it's it's worth watching. You're bound to have it over there, I'm sure. Well, here it's um, not free. It's uh, Apple okay. TV. Apple TV has it for four ninety nine. That's the one. That's um, the one. Did you've got it? Amazon has. Uh, well, that's four K. Amazon has the ten eighty p for three bucks. Voodoo has it for three bucks. It it'll be um, worth it, guys. It will be worth. I think you'll enjoy. If you, I mean, again, it sounds like very much like what you've been describing, but this is all in one go. And as I said, I mean, it says there. You see there. You know, tension drenched uh, show. It's it, as I said. It's all done in one. This is. It's it's more like a play than a thing, but it's very very well done. So worth watching. I, I've yeah. only seen it once, but it was it was enough <laughs> at the end of that because there are things happening, and you're like, I know what's going to happen. I know right. what's going to happen. Please don't let it happen. <laughs> yeah, and it I happens. Didn't, I didn't know his name, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do so, like yeah, that. Yeah, in fact, that's a, a nice. Let's look at that trailer. Just that you're running there gives a nice yeah. approximation as to just how kind of oh my god it is. <laughs> oh. So cool. yeah, all right. Anyway, yeah, very cool. Yeah, the- <laughs> all right. I got one other one for you, John. We can get to in between a couple of Steves. I only have two more, mm-hmm. so. But mm-hmm. um, where did it go? Oh, there it is down there. Things things are moving and shaking. Um, have you, I told you about the pen, the pen again? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even subliminal, is it? No, <laughs> it's, it's right on front right street. There, yeah. Nope. Yep. Nope. Uh, all right. I'm going to stop putting it like right in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> while, while you're doing that, Deej, Omar in the chats, uh, he's with you, John. He says, heck yeah, the bear was amazing. Um, yeah, what is it with people, bears this year? Yeah. You know, it's I know. cocaine bear, you know, yeah, just yeah, lots of bears. I mean, is there a care bear, bear the movie bear coming? The cocaine, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if it just kept going, cocaine hockey player, cocaine baseball player, <laughs> cocaine chef. Hey, coming soon, cocaine raccoon. It's a matter of time. Yeah, cocaine bright side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cocaine yeah, we're doing that one 24 we're hours. We're excited enough. <laughs> yeah, we're excited enough. <laughs> uh, never touch the stuff because I'm afraid I'd like it. <sighs> oh, man, I can't say. It. I'll leave that from, to my clients. From people I know said, yeah, it's a good thing. You would have loved it. Uh, <laughs> so anyway all right you don't, don't need do drugs, any kids. more you don't, kids, you don't, don't need, do drugs you don't need drugs dj <laughs> i know <laughs> high on life imagine <laughs> yeah i cannot <laughs> <laughs> oh boy imagine i'm toned down for the audience all right uh mission impossible <laughs> selling these pens um <laughs> Yeah, they'll be flashing in the corner next episode. <laughs> you can't buy now. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving it away. I'm like Oprah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mission Impossible 1996. Um, I haven't watched this in a while. I've hmm. skipped through it when they came out with the 4Ks and stuff. And it is it's awesome. Uh, last time I started Mission Impossible was during the the movies. That is, was during our uh, Maverick days, and I was just like, "Oh, I need more Tom Cruise," you know. And I started <laughs> backwards, and I only got like four movies back. But this time, because the movie's coming out in uh, the twelfth, supposedly, mm-hmm. but it's been bumped up. Walmart, you can see it on Sunday now, uh, the ninth. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get all of these done. So Mission Impossible, 1996. Picture is awesome. I don't think it's ever looked better. Um, the at the It's pretty much right at the one hour mark. And we were talking earlier on Mario Brothers and how the, the screen can, you the pixelation and stuff. Well, you know when you put your phone onto something, like uh, uh, your, your camera onto a television, you can see the scan lines. It's like, amazingly, that stuff doesn't happen in movies. It kind of goes away. Like they, whatever they do, their cameras are so good or whatever. You don't see that stuff. But at the one hour mark, you can actually see like this. I, I'm pretty sure it's the one hour mark. You can see um, 
the scanning of the image that they're looking at. It's just going because the, it just looks so good. You usually don't see it and it just, but it's so well shot. And I don't know if it's because it's an older movie from 96. I mean, can you imagine how old? That, I mean, that's crazy. What's that? Almost 30 years old now. Mm -hmm. this, he's yep. been making these movies. Yeah. And it, it just, it, it looked awesome. Um, it, and like I said, it's never, to me, it's never looked this good. Um, it, oh yeah. And that, at one hour mark, that's when the computer screen is actually, um, Ving Rames's computer screen. It's when they're breaking into Langley. So, um, the sound on it, awesome, super dynamic, very, very clear dialogue throughout. I'm starting to notice now, I'm starting to pay attention to some movies where it gets a little bit muddied the way, you know, maybe too much. I don't know if you'd call it too much bass, but some, at, at, there was one movie recently, I wasn't reviewing it. I think I was streaming something and I was like, is that my system? But then you put on a movie like this and it's just so crystal clear. You're like, ah, okay. That must've been whatever cut it was that I was watching. Uh, very clear dialogue. Good base extension, not super over the top, not Lucy, anything like that. You're not left wanting for anything at the end. You're not like, oh, I could have used a little more there. Um, at 2455, do you get a car, the, the car explosion? I mean, the movie's almost 30 years old. Cars explode if you haven't seen it, but it's at the beginning. You know the one I'm talking about. And how I can't tell you how many times I've seen this movie because I've owned it on Laserdisc, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, Kaleidoscape now. And all of the, I still went, whoa, that was good. That was a good job. I got a jump out of it. He runs around there, you know, boom. And it, really, really cool. Um, the aquarium explosion, really, really nice. Um, this, I don't know if I've ever noticed before, but the water, when the you know, if you know the scene, he blows up an aquarium with, with a stick of gum, you know, like he's like MacGyver and you know, MacGyver, he got a MacGyver tool, like a pen. So, um, but anyways, so yeah, he blows up the aquarium and the water rushes. I want to say, if I remember right, it rushed from like the center left over you and then back to the rear of the room really i mean just you and you could hear it splash behind you as the wave goes by and it goes boosh right behind you really really cool um the at 47 minutes 30 seconds there's like some scuttling going on and it's like kittredge he walks into mm -hmm. an apartment he like so he's walking down and it was when they were testing the laptop Right. And they put the disc in and he's like, ah, oh, you got about two minutes. Tom Cruise is like, you got about two minutes. And they come in. So Kittredge comes in the door and you can hear the, the agents that have already gotten into the room and they're searching for him. And you hear them just like making noise around and you can hear them off to the sides as he's walking at you. It was really, really cool. And again, like you said, Steve, these are little things that if they're not there, you're just, it, it's not that big a deal, mm -hmm. but in systems like when you have a system that can take advantage of this i've said this i don't know how many times on this podcast it's like this is all for us you know these little tiny details that most people don't hear and it, it, i i just i love stuff like that um the infamous scene lowering tom cruise ethan down into that vault at one hour and two minutes roughly um listen how quiet that is but mm -hmm. then you can also hear the vents there's a slight it's not dead quiet but you hear mm -hmm. the just a slow like a small hum of the ventilation in the room and it's weird that that little noise actually feels like it's more quiet than if there was no noise whatsoever right mm. like it's like you know you're engaged you can hear that and then that also heightens all the other noises which they're trying to do because he's got to stay in a certain you know decibel level which we are all very you know familiar with decibel levels um so he gets lowered down he does his gymnastics thing right and he goes flat at the desk and he reaches out out and i'm pretty sure it's his left foot but you know he's got the little ninja shoes on or whatever and he flips forward <laughs> and he puts his foot on the desk but he's 
where you're looking on your screen, you're seeing the side view of it and his foot goes out forward and grabs the desk, but it's just to the left of the screen. And that's, it is, and again, it is very quiet. And all you hear on the left side of your screen is that look like a, like a slipper going poof onto the desk on the left side of your screen. It's so discreet. It's so like cool, but it's not like a big bang over there. It's a like this little tiny noise that's his sneakers or whatever, ninja shoe, grabbing the desk to pull him forward. It's so cool. Um, the climatic train scene, really, really, I mean, just awesome. Just the, the dynamics of it, everything. And I was actually surprised at how well that played. Um, it, it, from the, you know, from the moment you, he, ha he has to go out there because, um, who's the character that ends up going out first, you can hear the draft as he goes out off to the, um, I think it's the left or something over your head. It really, really cool. But then I was expecting that scene to play more like, um, I don't know, uh, air force one, some mm. of that, it actually played really well. It looked really good. So. Um, but yeah, that entire scene is just awesome. So <clears throat> highly recommend that it's, I mean, they look, they look, it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, detail, skin tones, crisp, deep blacks, rich colors. It's just, it's, and for a movie that's almost 30 years old, and now we're going to see another sequel of it soon. Um, fantastic. Absolutely loved it. You're just nodding over there, Steve. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, I agree. I agree. They're all good. And I've got the set as well. I've got them all on disc, on 4K disc, and and, re and watch them prior to the last one. Um, and, uh, yeah, they are all good. My favorite bit in that movie is, the, is the, 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 the music as you get to that train sequence. And it builds, and it builds, and it builds. And you and, we, and you don't know you want it until then you get that music. It goes, da, 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 and then it just kicks into that oh. music. And if you... You don't have a dopey grin on your face when that music kicks in then something's wrong with you because i absolutely love that music cue. has that switches to the mission impossible theme it is just fantastic and i remember oh, that yeah. in the cinema oh, just going oh that's great and yeah. then and every time and i've seen in this movie scores of times i mean I, I dread to think how many times i've seen it and that bit never fails to uh to amuse yeah. and entertain um and as, and as ridiculous as it is it just sounds great <laughs> yeah, I actually just mixed up the next movie I'll talk about in a minute. But um, no, that that there, uh, Mission Impossible, the theme in this mm. and the mm. tone of this movie, I thought was the most accurate. And they've gotten further and further away from the show. I felt mm. like in this one here, they tried to shoot some of the scenes similar to the show. You yep. saw a familiar familiarity between the mm -hmm. two. And then they've since deviated from that and gone more to the cinematic this is okay this is a new version but mm -hmm. between this one and what i'll talk about in a few minutes number two i thought was you know they're they're getting further away but you could see i i could get the feel that it was from the show they were they were like mm -hmm. trying to shoot it as an homage to the show too um and then the yeah, theme well, music it too well, it's Brian De Palma, isn't it? So, of course, he's he's he, this is his wheelhouse. I mean, I'm no doubt he would have been a fan of the TV show, and they were trying yeah. to bring a big screen version of it. And of course, each director in these has brought their own very unique vision to it. I mean, John Woo with yeah. the second one, J.J. Abrams with the third, and then of course from then on, it's been Macquarie. Um, so, yeah, they, clearly they're bringing their own stylistic yeah. choices to it. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, they're all good. They, the weakest one is the one you're about to talk about, I think. Um, but they're all fun. It, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get to that we'll get to that um <laughs> but oh we could still I'm here, hear don't you worry though, I'm here. Yeah, yeah yeah i'm here good. don't worry just, you just yeah. lost your lighting it's pretty strange isn't it yeah <laughs> when was the last time you saw uh mission impossible the first one john uh it's been a long time i don't know i did just pick up the box set recently uh but i haven't watched any of them yet but yeah i haven't seen any of them in 4k it's been years mm. since i've watched watched it so oh. Um, they were all I don't know discs. that I'll get them in before the new movie comes out, but yeah, um, I don't think you'll be lost. 
No, I, I yeah, think I, I would, I would, I would sit from the trailers though. I think you ought to watch the first one before you go because there are returning characters from the first one that, the, that pop up again that, that haven't done the since. one I just watched. You mean the mm. from '96? That first one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's in the trailer. So the Kittridge is in is in the new one. Oh, okay. So he's not been heard of since, but since he's but he one. crops up in the <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So I think it might be worth. Clearly, they're going to revisit some of the stuff from that. So yeah. I would I would probably watch the first one. At I'll least. try. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll get a couple of them in before. Mm. I I just don't know that I'll get all five six of them in <laughs> five or yeah. one, whatever it is. Um, Come on, you know you can. Give it a go. <laughs> I, I mean, I can. <laughs> I'm sure. But <laughs> <sighs> all right, let's uh, hit. Um, well, you got this one last one here, Steve. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. Last. So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, do you? Are you not going to talk about MI two? You're not going to go through that. I will. You're do that after in a this. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So this is Hell or High Water then um, on 4K disc. Another import from the states because it is not available here. Um, so 4K disc, DTS HD Master Audio up next to Neural X, um, a film I've talked about a lot recently began specifically on the back of wind river um having talked about that last week and uh, and how much i think we all enjoyed that and so this was my chance to then revisit this movie again in 4k um and uh, yeah again i'll be quick the movie is fantastic it's such a good movie it's a modern western um Make, I mean, I, I, John, I was so close having watched it to after having watched it to just go, is Texas really like this? Is this really what, <laughs> is this what it looks like? Is this real? Is this complete nonsense? It was so, I was so close. But then I'm thinking Texas is bigger than the UK combined. So it, I'm it's, thinking it's that there's all big. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it's, you know, it, 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 there's all these different things. So I thought texting it would be just stupid. <laughs> so I've just outed myself as a, as a, as an idiot on, <laughs> on the podcast. It definitely looks like parts of Texas for sure. Yeah. I just, <laughs> So it, but it just makes it look so. Oh, how do you say? It? I mean, it's almost it. It it is attractively ugly. <laughs> it, I know that's an oxymoron, but it makes Texas look at the same time horrible and yet somewhere you you've got to go and see. Right. <laughs> so, but anyway, so so the movie's fantastic. It's a really well told story. Really, really um, well developed characters. Everything's there. Very somber, and it is definitely a sister sister or a companion piece to uh, to Wind River. Um, in terms of home theater, the the video is lovely. Everything is smooth. It's a digitally shot film. Everything is smooth. The colors look great. They, they again, as I say, it looks beautifully ugly. You know, the, the everything is rusted and 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 decaying. And it, and it's and of course it's a criticism of financial institutions and 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 the way things have, have gone in in certain parts of the U.S. I mean, they're saying Texas, but I don't know whether it's you know part of that or not. Um, and and so everything is decaying and there's detail and you can see all that and it all looks again as i said beautifully horrible <laughs> in, in 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 every way um so it looks great um the audio is a little bit disappointing um i i remembered it being better than it was um it it's it's very quiet there's not a lot going on for most of it there's quite a nice sort of shootout towards the end which sounds good the gunshots have got some presence to them but again you're not you, there's no punch in the chest there's no you know bass rumbles in the seat that i found um but when you do get the shootout at the end there's some nice directional stuff there is there are bullets whipping around the room um and that that's quite nice but this i don't think this is a movie unlike wind river which i think they do do set out to actually have some some really decent audio in that. I think this one is not quite there yet. Oops, I'm gonna hit the mic. Um, so I think getting it, all it, excited. It, yeah, well, I, I just I really love talking about these movies. And again, I said, John, I'll talk your ears off one day about the, the you know whether this is real or not because I was fascinated. Um, and so yeah, I, I, so it's really good. It's a really good disc. It's a fantastic movie. And and again, if you're over in the states and you can get it, then then I would recommend it. Um, over here, it's it's a bit more tricky to recommend because it's expensive to bring it over. But you know, it, I'm I'm glad I've got it. Uh, so if you're a fan and you can and you don't mind spending the money over here, then then go for it. But over there, I'm sure it's a really sensible price now because it's been out for a couple of years. Um, so yeah, yeah, really enjoyed it. I almost bought it. When I saw you were watching, I almost bought it. How many you got it? I thought you already had it on I, Kaleidoscape. Do I? I don't know. I thought I saw I it on one of your tiles. Yeah, I thought I saw it. Oh, but, maybe um, I do. Maybe I probably. Yeah. Maybe I do. Uh, I think it, you do. But I meant I to watch it, and that's why I was like, mm. if I don't have, because I saw you had it, and I wanted to mm. see it again, and I'm like, oh. and it's it is it. 
it's not like you said, it's not necessarily a home theater movie, but mm. it's such so well done. But it is mm. I not like John Wick four, but I mean the the imagery is just so well shot. <laughs> it's, you know, it's beautifully it's, framed. It's beautifully yeah. everything. And it's mm. and I'm starting to as as I've said on the show before, it's like and John as well, it's like we were very sound oriented for most of our home mm. theater careers because that's where the advancements were with our technology. But now the picture has gotten so good and we have the ability mm. to have larger pictures now compared to 20 years ago um, mm. that you can really take in the exact, you know, pretty much exactly what they intended with that large scale mm. and sitting there and going, wow, this is so grandiose, mm. you know? And uh, yeah. I mean, well, there's some, there were some just cinema- by the image that you have, just the the tone of it, the monotone yeah. of the, you know, yeah. the, the warm, the oranges and the, the warmth exactly. of everything. And that's, it's, it's awesome. It's a really beautifully smooth image. You know, there's detail in there as well that that's not to yeah. suggest it's not, but I was struck by the, you know, at times the, the, the sky looks so blue. And you've got the, yeah. the the fluffy white clouds and the and the, the again the, the landscape there. I mean, it's it is it it again it, it does look amazing. So yeah, I mean, there are some some incredible cinematographers out there, and and we are lucky that we get the bigger screens and we can take advantage of it and enjoy it. Because I'm I'm not sure this would have been a film to see in the theaters. I think this is one to see at home where you can just engage with it. See this with yeah. an audience, someone on their phone, someone talking, someone rustling popcorn or changing their diapers. Yeah. Um, or, you know, with a pen, you know, like in their pens. bloody, bloody bright siders. Here they are again. <laughs> um, you know, so I think, um, I think, uh, if you're not, if you can, that would break the illusion watching this on a big screen in your, in your theater room or, you know, in your, in your living room, but with, you know, just where you can just let it wash over you would be fantastic. But I'd be very jealous of you, John, because afterwards, theoretically, you could just go and visit these areas. I could. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I, I honestly, I was just thinking, I, I just want to know if it's real. I want to go and sit. I don't remember diner. where it took, where does it take place? Does it say? It's all in Texas. It's all in Texas. Well, I, I know I, it's I don't Texas, know whether I, but, yeah, I, but to I me, don't Texas remember. Is te- I don't, don't know. Your Texas is huge. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. This is what I've got to get my head around. Yeah. It would be like me, you saying to me, what's Scotland like? You live in the right. south of England. You know, it's, it's, it's like eight hours away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, so it's a I, couple I, day drive across Texas. Yeah, so. see, that's it. This is the thing. I need to, you know, I need to readjust my my yeah. distance parameters. So depending on how far away it is, I may not be visiting. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't exactly sell it, you know. But right. I just, I uh, just, it, uh, it's such a good film. And Jeff Bridges is incredible in this movie, yeah. um, and should have been nominated, I think, for his role in this. Um, really, really good. Anyway, there we go. Well worth seeing. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always there's always the opportunity, you know. John could write the directions down for you to get across <laughs> Texas using the bright side home theater pen. I could. Like, uh, and oh, then, yeah. Or yeah, you yeah. could just, you could prop it up on your dashboard. Oh, I took it down. That's what's yeah. happening. Never mind. <laughs> no. But also, also the good news is you could do a two day drive and not stop wearing your bright side diapers. That's right. You wouldn't, have, you to, you wouldn't have to make any stops. I'd never Everyone's have to stop. Win. Yep. There you go. It's uh, <laughs> It's dark and I'm wearing sunglasses. Let's go. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, All righty. I'm looking at the right. time here, guys. We're, we're I, know, I know. All right. Um, <laughs> too much quickly, pen talk. We'd be re- no, never too much. Uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about uh, Secret Invasion. Did yeah. everybody see it or not I see did. it? Oh, yeah. I, I saw 20 minutes of the first episode. What happened? You didn't like it? I was um, not entertained. <laughs> really, oh, John? I I, did you not like it? I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, hmm. I, I liked it. Wow. I, I see. My, my my problem with it is, did is they I film it in Spain? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, that that would have been more interesting. I, my my problem with it is, is I I don't find the story very interesting. And I and I've I don't think we know it yet. <laughs> well, yeah, but the, you know, oh, it's a Skrull invasion. Are they real? Are they Skrulls? So they don't look that threatening. They're not that exciting. And 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 I personally think Nick Fury <laughs> is the dullest ver- member of the Avengers, and and he's a bit boring. Um, and when he can't be Samuel L. Jackson that we know, so he's effing and blinding, and you know, right. and, and and being Samuel L. Jackson, yeah, from the hitman, he's not that hitman's engaged. bodyguard, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he's not that engaging then. And, and so I, I was now, admittedly, again, let me out myself by saying I watched it on my iPad um, and uh, over lunch one day. So I, you know, I, I hands up, <laughs> um, oh, but I don't, I don't, I don't find, the, that- I just. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think that that changes a lot, though, because I didn't find no. this to be spectacular home theater wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought yeah, it was I great. Did you? I thought the <laughs> audio on it was fantastic. Yeah, it was like, yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, for a stream. For a Disney, right. I mean, but it's no what Avatar. Scene? There was no but- real. I mean, there was like the one big action scene. I guess that I won't spoil it because Steve hasn't seen it. Oh, you're all right, John. I'm not sure I'm going to go back to it, buddy. To okay. be honest, I'm not. I don't know if I well, will. Well, and- even for the other listeners, I mean, I'm yeah, sure everybody knows by now. There's a death at the end of the first episode. Oh, what? So, I mean, there's oh. an, there's an action scene there, but yep. I mean, I didn't find it to be that engaging. Mm. home theater wise i, I thought i did really like the good. story though i, I, I did I, enjoy yeah. the i did enjoy the story yeah so did i i i mm. really enjoyed the story i'm i'm excited on where it's going to go what they're going to do what it means to the mcu and entirely um, should i should i give it a watch then guys is this what you're telling me i should go and watch it on the big screen in the theater i think room we would say yes <laughs> I, yeah. I, okay. yeah i mean i liked yeah. it i i liked okay. it right. i will it, I if will. nothing else the home theater experience and then you could be the mm-hmm. tiebreaker between me and john because i thought <laughs> in the, the middle when it was good i thought the picture was good i thought the, the way they were manipulate i mean i you know steve Maybe, just maybe, the cinema room couldn't. <laughs> the delivery the system experience. might might no, make a difference. Yeah, yeah. That can't be the case. Surely not. <laughs> it's got to be better than that. Yeah. If it's great, it's great, <laughs> right? If not, <laughs> write it down, and I'll send it to somebody who cares. Uh, Deej, 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 let me just yes. briefly interrupt this broadcast for a moment. Did somebody agree okay. with you, Steve? No, no, no. Your, your, your. I, I, what I didn't realize, Deej, is you are a master salesman. Okay, you're using reverse now? psychology by giving away free stuff because Andrew Panner in the chat says, G'day, gents. I'm assuming he's Aussie, so we can do it Aussie if you like, mate. Uh, he says, G'day, gents. I've just purchased a Brightside HT t shirt. Love your work, fellas. Nice. That's, thank you very much. See, and I mean, we've never had that live on air before where someone's no. bought a shirt, awesome. Dean. So this is send working. Me your address, I'll send you a pen. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, if you played your cards right, DJ would have just sent you one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just raise your hand in the chat and ask for one. <laughs> DJ will send it. <laughs> See, John's getting mad because I promised him when we get to a certain point of profit. At, at some point, we'd get monetized, yeah, and we'd I'd see a, a, a buck or two out of this, but that's no. never going to happen. Yeah, yeah. John's right. got a retirement plan. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's really mean. all right. Um, um, yeah, actually, right, TJ, let's... there is someone else on in the chat. Really quick, DJ, we've got a TJ eight three one one says he enjoyed. Um, he says I enjoyed it. I assume he means Secret Invasion, and says, but we'll wait a few more episodes before I judge it. So there you go. Okay, that's the sensible yeah. way of doing yeah, it. Well, yeah, well, that's that, that's why I thought it was interesting, Steve. That you're like, I don't like the story. I'm like, I don't think we know yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, but it's well, the like, idea of it I find I just a, not yeah. very exciting. You yeah. know, because I, uh, I don't. Okay. I, again, bear in mind, twenty minutes in, so I don't know. I, you know, the idea. Well, Captain America was a scroll, or you know, I, mm, well, they didn't okay. say that, but no, but the, do you no. know what I mean? That's the sort of the the, the See, suggestion. See, I think that's interesting. Some people might call it like that's their easy way out for lazy writing mm. now because they can just take anybody and go, he was a skull the whole time. And it's like, right. bring him back. But that's yeah. comics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, well, that, when you read that I, in yeah. comics, you were like, oh, no. <laughs> but we were also <laughs> like kids and our imaginations were a little bit more sponge like. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, and I you could accept things and not the I, fact that it wasn't filmed in Spain. <laughs> I had the ending uh, uh, spoiled uh, for me before I saw it. You know, and my first inclination was, oh, well, it'll just be a scroll. But hmm. after hmm. seeing it, I don't think that's the case. But right. I was like, oh, hmm. well, that person didn't die because it's probably just a scroll. And we'll right. find out in the beginning of episode two that they're alive and well. But after Which watching it. It removes all the stakes, doesn't it? That yeah, I don't think and- that's the case. But yeah, somebody hmm. came into the store and spoiled it for me Wednesday before I got a chance to watch oh, it. Did so. they make it out alive? <laughs> they did, they did, but <laughs> they're not allowed back. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. Maybe they were a scroll. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let me, yeah. <laughs> Let me it's part do, of the invasion. Uh, you know what? I'll move that till next week. Let me do that. I'll move mission. <laughs> sorry, to next Sorry, week buddy. I know I've got. No, no, no. That's sorry, fine. That, and this is why we talked about this. We talked about this. No. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get to some uh, real uh, coming soons quickly here, because that mm. that was the last one, right? Secret invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got nothing else here. So yeah, let's. Uh, 
All right. Uh, first up, because I do want to get to some listener experiences here. So first mm-hmm. up, we have coming July 4th. Fireworks, baby. Uh, no, we got, um, at least in this country. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still getting big, over it over here. Not a big holiday over there, Steve, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we, 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 we let you of, go. Speaking of, are we, we, are we off? Uh, I'll air it out on the show. Are we off next week? Because uh, I'm on. No. Steve's on. We talked about it before you joined. No. I'm not sure what you're doing. If I'm you not make sure it. either, but I may yeah. not. I know I can make it. So, because yeah. I got to work I'll the next morning know. anyway, yeah. so I'll be. Mm. Dee just condition. wants to. D- Dee just wants to rub it in about the fact that you know it's independence and uh, you know we we broke away. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it is It'll a Tuesday, right. so I don't have like crazy <laughs> things going on. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna rain here, so that, or, we, that's we could I just do a. Could just do a rewatch of Hamilton, guys. You know, a group watch. Yeah. That's fine. We'll just do that. You guys could just make me feel bad. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> Did, what did they use to write the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> <laughs> that bright side pen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got uh, Jim Carrey, The Truman mm. Show from 1998. Uh, we have we have Upgrade. Oh. Yeah. Oh, huh? yeah. This you've seen on my Kaleidoscape. I haven't seen it on my collection, I, but this I've seen the tile. Never for. seen it either. You I guys, it. it's right. Tell me this. Tell me this very quickly. Then, do you like Paul Verhoeven movies like RoboCop and Total Recall? Yes. Yeah. See this immediately. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> it's, told, it's, it's, and it's I just haven't. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. Um, we've only got the Blu-ray here, and I will import this almost immediately. It well, this is, is coming fantastic. July 4th. Yeah, well, quite. I'm going to get the yeah. order in, because it, it's it's ultra-violent, um, futuristic tech, um, bit of body horror as well. It is fantastic, guys. You will love this film. John, you're <laughs> going to – I mean, prepare yourself for right. awesomeness. Okay, you are you are in particular, but DJ, I think you'll really like it as well. But but I'm telling you guys, and and you guys love Bloodshot. Get six copies, yeah. DJ. It's it's got some it's got some similarities to Bloodshot, but this is yeah. way better. Great, and I like Bloodshot. I'll start with the one. I have one yeah. copy. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'll also, just give one. Won't let him buy more. I know <laughs> he's he's I've, tried. <laughs> I've sent I've sent you those texts, haven't I? Yeah. Like, look, yeah, yeah. I tried to buy this movie again, and I already own it. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Can uh, hear the kaleidoscape sighing. Uh, yeah, DJ, version. look. <laughs> they should yeah. come out with the DJ version. It's the same thing. You're just paying twice. <laughs> different different tile. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It, oh no, you could change your tiles. Oh, Can okay. okay. Well, yeah. I did that for uh, a few uh, Star Wars. I put the original mm. poster on there. Uh, but anyways, also- well, if, you, uh, if you guys are going to watch this though, if you guys are going to see this, tell me, because I will happily watch it for a third time. And then we can talk about it. Because okay. t- t- I'm telling you. I'll right. try. I'll try for next week. <laughs> um, all right. Also coming on July 4th, What would? what's more appropriate? Mm. Um, Jaws 2. And in case we didn't say it for the audio only, did we say upgrade? We just raved upgrade. about Oh, gosh, upgrade. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. No, it's oh, not man. you. I might get not excited. have said it. Yeah, we all yeah. get excited. Sorry, upgrade. Up, upgrade, <laughs> upgrade, tw- upgrade, upgrade. 2018 <laughs> in 4K. Sorry about that. That was the previous one. But also, Jaws 2. <laughs> Jaws 2. It just dawned on me, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, I always thought that came from Jaws. It just no, dawned it on me. It came from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was a kid in both cases. <laughs> so I didn't, you know, by the time I was conscious of any of that, it was years and years later and I just mixed them all up. But I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, went back in well, the water. I get it. When I made so, my little Twitter joke, I was like, I was waiting for somebody to say that's Jaws too, but yeah. nobody, nobody <laughs> did. So uh. no, I saw your joke, but then I, I saw it someplace else as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jaws too. I'm, which, I'm which one of the people that really get, likes John? this. Hmm. I like Jaws too. No, I know. Which cover would you prefer, John? Uh, I like the one on the left, DJ. Yeah, I figured you would. (laughs) Uh, I'm a a rear view mirror kind of guy. Yeah, we're that kind. We've had that conversation many times. (laughs) Uh, So, that's probably the steel book, though, right? So, it's more expensive. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. And you'll get it. 
I prefer the much, much racier Cinema George one. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Check that out. Whoa. I might need to grab that pen, Steve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Got it there. Yes. I think you just fill in your own. <laughs> but yeah, it's much maligned. I don't understand why people don't like Jaws 2. I, I like Jaws 2. I've always thought it was like, I mean, why? obviously it's not as good as the Spielberg first one. didn't do it, right? Uh, and he yeah, said but, he wouldn't. So that mm. pretty much anybody that was a big fan, they're going to, it's much maligned before they probably even saw it. Because Spielberg's like known for not doing sequels at the time, said mm. he wouldn't do a sequel. They do a sequel, and the the big fans of Spielberg slash Jaws are going to come out and dislike it, regardless. And mm. I, I've always enjoyed it. I was yeah. too young I mean, to hear yeah. that. We didn't have the internet then either, right? <laughs> well, quite. But even like film critics seem to sort of malign Jaws too. Mm. And yeah, it's it's it, it's good. It's not as good as the yeah, first one, but it's still very good. They're totally unbiased. <laughs> well, <Same. yeah. laughs> I mean, there's a lot of movies I like just because I like all the other stuff the guy's done or the person's done or whatever it is. It's like mm. I'm I'm biased, no kidding. So, all right. Uh, oh, speaking of, mm. there we go. Tom Cruise. I came up from watching two. <laughs> I just looked at my wife and she goes, "Was it good?" I go, "He's just so damn sexy." <laughs> 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 I'm crush. <laughs> oh, come on. How do you not? Although I will say even before next week when I review MI2, um, I wasn't a big fan of the long hair. But as we'll discuss next week, we know why he had it, right? Mm -hmm. Don't give it away. That'll ruin next week's show. <sighs> so, all right. Uh, I think I think that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. So Mission Impossible. Isn't MI4 out right? as well? Isn't 4 out as well? Yeah, well, I think three is. and four come out soon. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Hang on a second. Mm. Let me check and see my. Uh, I think they're just doing I two for two for two no, right up to the until it comes out. Right. Uh, While well, you're oh, looking for that, is. Andrew Panner again, legend that he is, um, not the purchaser of the Brightside T-shirt, um, also says that upgrade is awesome. So you know, got some support there. Well done, thanks, huh? Andrew. <laughs> there you go, Steve. There you Mission go. Impossible Four. Mm -hmm. You're right, and I even had cool. the graphic for it. I just didn't load mm -hmm. it in. So there you go. All right. So Mission mm. Impossible 3 and 4 coming. Uh, cool. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah. So let's get to these. You can follow us on Twitter. Guys, shout them out if you know them. <laughs> Your call signs. Sure. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ice Man. Crony. I, I do oh. know. I do know mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and then mine apparently is uh, at legal beagle. Okay, Deej, I can't believe you passed up a chance to say that. You love saying legal beagle. Okay, <laughs> uh, I have. You, you know how many times I spell that wrong? I for some reason yeah, I can't legal, spell beagle. legal and beagle. Yeah, well, the yeah. problem is it's the e a and the a in the g a, isn't it? So it's, right. it's, it's, it's the e a and the g l e. I'm always yeah. beagle. <laughs> I'm like, ah. that's the French version. <laughs> yeah. Bigel. Back to old uh, yeah. Bill Skarsgård again. <laughs> but yeah, you can follow us on Twitter over there. And we also have Brightside family community going on. Uh, have, it's getting more and more traction. People are, we're chatting about more things. I think that's where, um, that's where Mikey tweeted out about his uh, Dominican mm. Republic excursion with John, you yeah. know, <laughs> I think so. Um, but you can also, obviously, if you're watching this stream live on YouTube, whether it's on Brightside Home Theater or Steve's Twitter, you can also watch us on YouTube. So appreciate that. Um, we're at $8.99 for followers. We're climbing all the way. And you know what? I'm thinking whoever is the thousandth follower Creep what in. are you gonna get there you go <laughs> there you go yeah uh, people are clamoring now if that's not an incentive to get yeah. us to a thousand i don't know what is <laughs> we'll start losing followers <laughs> yeah <laughs> telling you the diapers is where it's at there is an elderly yeah. market we're not tapping into <laughs> um uh yeah and also uh you can for all of this you can find us on go to the website brightsidehometheater.com which can also be found written on the side of the pen um <laughs> but guys paul hurt paul uh paul oh, hurt just paul joined the chat yeah he says <laughs> he just, just home he says paul hurt says hello just home from the cinema what did i miss 
Um, <laughs> you need a pen, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> write it down. It's like notes. You know, Paul, you can you can watch it on your phone. I don't have all the other slides still loaded, but yeah, it, it's the multi tool for the home theater enthusiast. Uh, go back in the early part of the show, and you can see it. Or maybe I'll wrap it up later. I don't know. We've we've got time. Uh, yeah, go to the, go to the website, brightsidehometheater.com. There you can click on the link for Patreon and uh, support us. Well, John, why don't you describe what they do? Um, they donate. <laughs> okay. You can, no, you can sign, yeah, you can uh, sign up for as little as a dollar uh, or as much as you want uh, and become a patron. Or you can donate a box of popcorn. Uh, small box is $5. Medium box is ten dollars, and a large box is uh, carte blanche. You choose the amount. So uh, nobody was ever afraid of a zero. Add it. Just keep adding them. Right. <laughs> a little zero never hurt anybody. No. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, obviously, there's other ways to support the podcast uh, as Mike Schramm is showing, Omar, all these, Johnny Speakers, all these people, Danny Speakers, Danny, I mean, all these people talk it up. Do, you know, Nelson, you know, he's inviting people to his theater now. Um, everything, just talk it up because there's only so much the three of us can do, right? We're pretty much tapped right. out on our friends. It's three of us. <laughs> um, so I've already signed up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I, so I tried to spread it to 200,000 people. Yeah. So, you know, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually working and you got escorted out. I tweeted yeah, to all did. of my 60 Twitter followers. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, just all of these links are in the show notes as well for every, any and all show. And last thing I think we should talk about, uh, especially here on YouTube, and we don't do it enough, and people, more and more people have mentioned it to me, and I don't have a graphic for it. Takeover Tuesdays. They're, take over Tuesdays, if you're on YouTube, if you're watching the stream or anything, and you're, and you're not familiar with the podcast, the audio version, there's a whole other podcast day we drop on every Tuesday. If you want to come on the show, you, all you got to do is email me, you know, DJ at brightsidehometheater.com and uh, just would talk. And everybody that's been on the show, and that's why, like, today's show was Steve's first appearance. We had literally never secret heard origin. each other. Uh, what's that? <laughs> His secret origin. Yeah. Uh, we Jones. hadn't heard I'm, each other. I'm a scroll. Yeah. And <laughs> Steve, you tell him what it was like seeing you came on yeah. here the first time, because we know how shy you are, too, but. Well, it's shy and retiring, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah the very introvert me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, it would. It would. It was again. I started the pot, the the takeover Tuesday by saying it was surreal but nice, and yeah. that and, and and it was. It was at that point we had swapped DMs and we we'd emailed yeah. and, and all that stuff, um, and you had talked at me before I'd obviously spoken to you on the on the on the YouTube right. stream. So it's very strange when you were actually talking to me. Um, but it was, uh, you know, but, but, you know, these, you, you, you guys, we can all do it. We can all talk forever if we want to. And, uh, and so it's, it's, it, and it's very easy. It's very easily flowing. It's not like you've got to plan this and prep it and, <clears throat> and write a long list of things to talk about. You know, you, did you, you are, you're a master at steering conversation and just letting it flow. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's, but that's what, but that's what yeah. people are worried about, isn't it? Everyone that yeah. comes on that's not been on before goes, I don't know if I had enough to talk for two hours or you know twenty minutes, right. and yet we always do. Um, and Including so, my you know, wife, it, it, yeah, she, well, well she yeah, didn't think and she Megan could make as well. It. Yeah. And I was like, trust me. <laughs> yeah. And when well, we no, stopped, yeah. go ahead, John. Well, I was just to say, also, two hours isn't a requirement. Right? No, your takeover not. Tuesday can be thirty minutes. You know, you come on yep. and talk about whatever you want. You know, I mean, it's going to go longer than that. Well, right, because <laughs> yeah. because DJ's there. Um, <laughs> but, Thank you. <laughs> but but my point is, like, it doesn't have to go two hours or two and a half, three hours. Right. You that's know, a good it, it, if you've got an hour worth of good stuff to talk about, then that's still a good mm -hmm. show, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely, yeah. it's that's so, a great point. And mm -hmm. honestly, though, I've been waiting for that person i've been waiting for that show so that i could say i'm like this has been fantastic blah, 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 thank you and it's like we don't need to do two hours every and it and it inevitably inevitably ends up there <laughs> it just does because more often than not 
I mean, if it's two hours, it's probably because I had something to do and that's what we could schedule. But we've gone three, we've done it. it it's it, it, people have come on and been very nervous about it. And they, at the end, they're like, oh my God, it was just including my wife. <laughs> She's like, I don't like to talk. Like it's me, but yeah. <laughs> so thank you to everybody that's been on. Um, and, but yeah, if you've, you know, if you're new to the show, a lot of people have said that you, you got to talk more about that on YouTube because people are just on YouTube and they're not listening to the audio part mm. and, and you'll see it there every Tuesday, a new show drops that this week happened to be a, a rerun of Steve's first appearance, but next week is going to be huge. I promise you it is going to be huge. It is going to, uh, dare I say, uh, send fireworks through the home theater world. No pun intended. How, how is Steven Spielberg? Is he all right, Deej? Did you get on all right with him? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, not that huge. Sorry. Sorry. You have to listen yeah. and find out. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be huge. Yeah. So, well, give, all right. Do, how is Joe Biden? Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I had him over for dinner. Yes. Uh, uh, let me see. I got a, what am I getting for, uh, what are we up to here? Oh, there we go. Oh, we should be doing listener experiences. There we go. Yeah. yeah. 10 minutes I, I, or so. So, yep. Well, I'll tell All you right. what, guys, if you want to go longer, we can. So it's fine. So don't, don't curtail minutes. it necessarily yep. for me. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You read. Oh, I will save the tweaks for the week next week, too, because mm -hmm. we're just chatting away. So let's I'll, get to these listener me. experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be hung up. <laughs> Not by me. <laughs> That was it, you even talked about you said that in your takeover Tuesday. Yes. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. everything in your theater was done by somebody else. And you're like, even the 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 pictures the on plaques. the walls. Yeah. The yeah. plaque, oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, was, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. If I do it, it'll fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Get a lot of earthquakes over there. Well, the yeah, base. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. And, and sheer ineptitude of the person doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to this one from uh, from John. So, uh, Steve, you want to read that? Yeah, okay. So, oh, why have I got to read the title? I'm not that sharp. All right, all right. fair enough. I'll and that's it. Take the point. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Next. Okay, so, so yeah, so this is John, an email, because it says sent from my iPhone. Do we know John's thing? Just a uh, John, the John, some John. Okay, um, so it says, uh, I got my new Denon 3000 or 3800, you guys would say, wouldn't you, like a month ago and buy amped them. It sounded pretty good going to six overheads, got Odyssey editor app and set it, was watching a video with Anthony Giromani, and he was saying how in some timbre or timbre, I suppose it's French, speakers, pink noise should sound the same. My front three did not. I'm like, what the hell? It's from same line, same driver. Then I started over EQing in editor app to get sounds more similar. Yeah, it sounded horrible. Then I looked at graphs in editor app closer. My frequencies dropped off a cliff after 1000 Hertz. I'm like, what the hell? Is it something to do with biamping? So I looked at all my connections, looked fine, except I had plugged the high signals for biamping in wrong inputs on 3800. <laughs> So I'd been listening to it for a month without correcting. <laughs> Fix that, and my front speaker suddenly had static noise that had never been there before. So I said, screw it. I'll just hook up my hook up skip by amping same static. I'm wondering if this is some sort of code. Are we sort yeah. of, you know, just, anyway, okay. So um, I'm worried if we're starting a war in the Far East or something. Um, so now I was like, what the hell? It's like you know, the weather in Moscow is good at this time of year. Okay, anyway, now I was like, what the hell? So I looked at all my settings after switching speaker wire configurations several times, still static. Then I was like, crap, what else can I do? I had the speakers for second AV set to mono, as I read was best way to do it. So as soon as I set to direct, all static, gone. I went back, biamped front speakers, perfect sounds, seamless. I feel like a complete moron. Thought you might enjoy my home theatre troubles. I am a bit worried. Someone just check the news. Make sure that <laughs> war has not just been launched somewhere. Because at times in the middle, that felt sounded a bit Mission Impossible. <laughs> Well, you know what I loved about this? It, I feel your pain, John. Um, 
because we've all done this, we try to do something like, oh, I saw that you can do this and you can do that. And um, Greg has by amp speakers in his living room right now. And he's like, what do I do with the? And it's like, when you get more confused, like not confusing, I should say, as you get up in more features, all they do are cause more issues that like, if you don't nail it, it's and you now how do I find the link that's gone wrong here? It's like, which one is it? And you listening to everything that he had to go through. It's like, we've all done it. We've all done it. Even listening to your takeover Tuesday, Steve, your professional installers put the HDMI cable in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, okay. I mean, did they have like, Mickey Mouse ears <laughs> as they were working? <laughs> but you know, they did we've feel all stupid. Done it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, but we've all done it. And it's like, you know, like when John Brock, he was on and he's got people, his theater is amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. He gets people over there and he pushes play and they goes, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh no, what do I do? And he had to problem solve it on the fly while at least trying to demo, like, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's paid a pretty penny for that thing. And it's like, it's like taking your Ferrari out and it just craps the bed. You know, it's just like, what are you going to do? But it happens to everybody. And it, especially when you're a DIY guy and you try to do some stuff, like you try to get a little bit more extravagant. You're like, oh, no, <laughs> what went wrong? I don't know. <laughs> because you don't, I, I hate to say it because I've done it. I know I can say it because I've done it. You literally don't know what you're doing yet. <laughs> you're just, I saw this online. Let me try it. It's like before there was online, we used to say, on the playground i saw this in a cartoon once let me try it yeah. <laughs> it's like and that's pretty much what the online has become right and only now we're not falling off our bikes jumping 30 feet in the air <laughs> work for roadrunner so steve's laughing because he doesn't have this problem <laughs> Right. I, I, yeah, I, I try and avoid it wherever possible. <laughs> no, but you saw your installers have problems. So Yeah, but that, I mean, but it, that it, was it, what was so cool. Right, <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, yeah, but it's not to, unique to us. It happens no. to everybody. Anybody yeah. working with this gear, you're going to have mm. problems. And yeah. to me, that's part of the fun. I, I like working mm. through them. Um Maybe not in this, and my wife can attest to this, maybe not when I'm trying to sit down to watch something and you get a little frustrated and she's going, just calm down. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's never yeah. going to work, is it? No, <laughs> if someone yeah, tells you no. to calm down, it's red rag to a bull. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's one word, red rag to a bull. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of syllables. <laughs> All right. Um Quickly, I forgot to upload the next one. Uh, do you have anything to say about that, there, Steve? <laughs> uh, about a pen. Uh, yeah, it's mightier than the sword. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Ninety nine, ninety nine. I think it is, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go. There's the next one. Uh, John, you want to take that? No, I'll actually upload another one. <laughs> sure. Uh, regarding recent Takeover Tuesday, this looks like an email as well. It says, LOL, maybe I also watched Battle of the Planets as you did. Happy times. Uh, you and Danny also touched on crossovers. I have found after much messing around that front three for movies or shows, series, etc., 55 for towers and 60 for center. For anything music, concerts, YouTube, music videos, etc., 80 all 80 uh, all front three. Um, 120 all four surrounds and 100 ceiling. Uh, and I have the same TV as him, the Sony X90H. Mm. Those were Costco only, exactly the same as the X900H sold everywhere else, but with a three year warranty. And he can be rest assured it's an excellent TV, one down from the top LED that year, pretty close in performance. Uh, Paul B., New Bedford. Uh, I also have the X900H in my bedroom. So, Oh, look at you. Nice. Fancy. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, crossovers. Uh, I like, I'm now doing all of mine at 120. Uh, around, is it 120? I think it's 120. Or oh, 100 across the front. Yes, 100 across the front and 120 everywhere. Uh, four surrounds and my four overheads. Um, and yeah, I... Can't say I notice any difference because when I went to that, I actually changed the speakers as well. 
So, um, and I'm having too much fun with them as, you know, the SVS speakers as it is that I don't want to start, I don't have time to start messing. Like, let's set it to this and then go back and see which one's better. Cause I think it sounds fantastic. So, um, yeah, I think if you have a good subwoofer system in, in you're getting it, you should be able to handle anything really from a hundred, 120 down should be able to go to the sub and let the speakers do, you know, whatever you choose from there is a personal preference. So, uh, any comments guys? Uh, no, I mean, I have all mine non-standard as well because the standard quote unquote is 80, right? For <laughs> everything. Um, I was just trying to look cause I have, uh, my notes here from when I had the mini DSP put in and yeah, my front, uh, LCR is at 75 center is at 77 um ceilings are at 78 and then the subs oh, wow. are at 80 so i mean they're all still pr pretty the surrounds low. you mean yeah. yeah i mean yeah the surrounds um <laughs> but there are you know nothing is set at at 80 um you know like it yeah like they kind of tell interesting you to. right so. cool all right uh and I, one other thing don't let anybody tell you you're doing it wrong <laughs> right. if you like the way it sounds uh, if you go someplace and you hear something you really like, and then you ask them what theirs is and you want to try it at home, that's great. But don't let anybody tell you online blindly go, that's wrong. No, that's no, no. Enjoy. Uh, all right. Uh, we have this one from, let me take down the graphics, Steve, if you want to read that one, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is from PK Hammer. This is like a whodunit. All right, we've now oh, outed yeah. the That's, culprit. This was a little while ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the culprit has outed I, themselves. I swear I didn't know that when I asked you to read it. Oh, I'm winding you. I'm kidding. It's okay. <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> oh. So this is from PK uh, Hamu 2005. It's a, it's a comment on the YouTube video um, of uh, the live stream of show 289. Um, and he's had to put this here for reasons that we went through, which is that he, he can't do it on Twitter, at least not to me. Um, and it reads as follows. <laughs> it says, he, he says, right. hi, Steve, I PK forgot. here. Uh, yeah, quite. This is it. Hi, Steve, PK here. It was me who tweeted on the subs, all right? I'm not going to do a previously on the Bright Side Home right. Theatre podcast. If you, if anyone that doesn't know what this is, go to a couple of episodes ago. It says it there, stream of 289. Um, you'll see it on there. Anyway, it was me who tweeted on the subs. It was done in, in a good humor, I think you mean, and intention was never to criticize your subs. Haven't ever done the same before, any time before on your setup. As a fellow enthusiast, I would never make fun of anyone's setup coming from a modest setup of mind. Sorry, since you felt bad about it. It happens probably when we aren't in a good mood and may take it in a different way. All the best, mate. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah i mean i i did it was nice uh, yeah. of him to send the message i i, I yeah right. fine and and you know it, it's okay it's kind of what we thought it was um yeah. in terms of what he meant versus what it read yeah. to be um but he's it, still in to be jail fair, for a little while yet to be fair to let pk <laughs> still in time know, out <laughs> to, to let pk know you told us in the show what had happened mm. and you took it and, and it can be taken in mm. in both ways and when you describe and what what he said was just to let people know to get them up to speed mm. if they haven't heard it is he said time for new subs and mm. it, it was in in that context of the movie and you were like that's it and it's like because whatever you took it as he was criticizing your subwoofers like you need new ones mm. now mm. and we agreed with you and then it was you that told us after show we were talking about it. And I'm wondering if it like clicked in your head. Cause I didn't give it another thought. I'm like, hmm. you do that all the time. But <laughs> you said, you said to, to John and I, you were like, maybe he meant like I broke him with that movie. And both John and I went, Oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then he did, he went on YouTube after hearing you talk and he, he was like, Oh no, he just took it the wrong way, which is great. You know, he hmm. took it that way. He, he sent that, but no harm, no foul in either way. But hmm. that's the, that's, the, <laughs> that's why everybody hates the internet. <laughs> just, Steve still has I, a little harm and foul in, in his, I, I, in his I, mind. I, he, he's, he's, in, he's in, he's in Twitter jail for a little he's bit. He's in timeout. Yeah. 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 Just, just, <laughs> did you take the I, other no, guy it, out? It, 
in, in, yeah, that yeah, you don't uh, even know? Uh, which one was this? <laughs> the one from uh, the community. Oh, uh, no, I, I no. Nobody yet. even know. No, he, the person doesn't even know. Nobody no. even knows the instance, but I, oh. yeah, I don't, I don't either, including me. Oh, so yeah. no, no, no. So when you set up the community, I was going to set both of you guys up as moderators Oh, <laughs> and it, people are coming at me fast and fear, like fast and furious. We got like 40 people now, but when it first was announced, they're like, yeah, can you add me? And I'm like, I couldn't add a person. I can't add a person. I'm like, what oh. the hell? And then it dawned on. I had to read the rules. Of Rex. <laughs> and t- if any moderator has them blocked, they're not allowed. <laughs> and I didn't know. So then I went and I took Steve off as being a moderator. Boink! They went right in. But then I had to tell Steve, I'm yeah. like, you can get back. In. I, I'm not kicking you out, but it actually, it booted Steve just because I unclicked that. And I'm like, come on back in, buddy. You're allowed in. I just can't make you a moderator because you're too temperamental. <laughs> but but I couldn't, but but he was worse than that. That wasn't Deej because I'm like, who's this guy? What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've blocked somebody. You've been like, who is he? I don't know. <laughs> Must have felt like it. You, you, I do. Je- oh, I do I've gone. I've gone. People like I give away pens. Oh, I've gone block crazy on all my social media have the last you? month and a half or so. Yeah, not every a single time, person. Every time I see the word woke in any context, I block that person. Every time yeah. somebody makes a stupid comment about something, I block them. Like I just don't have any time for that That's noise why I anymore. Can't talk to you on Twitter anymore? Yeah, you're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crypto is the word. That yeah, makes well, time. It, I'm yeah, try- I'm just yeah. blocking everybody now because if you say something <laughs> stupid, I'm blocking you because I just don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody well, in the home what, theater group is blocked yet no. for me, but I'm just saying in general, there's certain trigger words for me that if I see them, I'm blocking that person. The night is young, John. Yeah. The night is young. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny is I said this to Jen, and um, and I think it's it pertains to this podcast. It pertains to to podcasts in general, um, and the, and the communities, not just this home theater community, but all communities. And I said to Jen, I'm like. I said, I think the difference is like, especially in this country, I know you're going through it in your country. There seems to be a bigger divide all over the world. There's a bigger divide between people and everybody's like, we've never been so separated. And it dawned on me the other day and let me know what you guys think. It's not the sides, regardless of which side you are on. It's not the issues. It's not the, if you're going to go politics, not the politicians, it's not this, what it is. It literally is, it's streaming and the internet and all of the content, not the fact that we can talk on the internet. That's the part that's actually, I think, if you follow this theory through, keeping us together. Because if you go back to when we only had three channels and you couldn't DVR, we were all together. Monday morning, you couldn't wait to talk about that show that happened over the weekend, regardless of, hey, if, you know, you're left wing, right wing, it didn't matter because you had that commonality of the television shows of there was so many things that you had in common because there were so few things that you I love Matlock. Or I love, did you see, you know, Magnum P.I. last night? That was awesome. And you'd have great water cooler conversations about this stuff. But then you found out that your political views didn't align. But then you were still accepting of that person because I, I love you because of our all the other similarities we have, right? It's we're so divided now because we're starting at the other part and we'd have nothing in com- We're all like in our com- our own little bubbles and we love everybody in this community. And I can guarantee you everybody in this community has different political views. You don't care because you're like, you already know the person. You see what I mean? It's like, that's where I think the world has gone different. I don't think we're any different politically. I don't think we're any more divided now than we ever were. I just think we, we know, we hear about it more because everybody has a voice. It's amplified, isn't it? Right. It's amplified. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because you and I, any one of us can talk to the planet at this moment in time. We Mm -hmm. are live to across YouTube, across Twitter, Anybody on, right. well, quite, but but anybody on on planet Earth, yeah, with a with a phone, with a yeah. with a with an internet connection, can listen to what the three of us are right. saying or what, what anyone's saying, 
and and somehow there is this magic thing that sometimes happens which is where you know that being on that screen means that you now have an opinion that people want to listen to and so and and whatever that opinion is whatever that thing you're saying is is amplified by that and can be spread around the globe whereas before you'd have some crazy guy at the end of a bar in a pub just spouting crap to whoever and it never right. went any further but now we can broadcast it and you don't have to spend any money to do it you can do it right. you know infinitely yeah. and i just think that that's <laughs> it's the amplification of it that that seems to have made it worse i think but i again, what do i know but, but what that, I, that's that's what that's right. what i think about it but i think i think the idea like i was saying i think the idea is that you're meeting these people for the first time at their opinion on something that might vary differently from you. Mm. So you're automatically, you're not getting to talk about Magnum PI. You're not getting to talk about your commonalities. Right. Mm. And whereas like in the home theater community, like you were saying, like John's like, I'm, I haven't blocked anybody in the home theater community. You go into, and that's, what's nice about like, and I'm not trying to promote bright side home theater community on Twitter, but you go in there, it's all, you can go out of there and talk about anything you want, but when you come in there, it's all home theater stuff, right? And mm -hmm. it, that's all it is. So you don't have to do the blocking thing if you just want to come on and stay in there. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty good on my Twitter. I don't block anybody, but I don't look at any of that. So I just scroll past whatever. If I'm mm -hmm. if I'm not interested, and I just keep on going. And I like home theater, and pretty much that's it. Hockey comics and that's it and i just flip by everything else and mm. i do see stuff every now and then people and you go oh boy there you go but just keep on going and but in the in the you know in these communities that they've set up that we have now is it's pretty cool same with the green room and same with any mm. of this and you find yeah. commonalities with people i think that's what brings everybody together we all have differences Right. It's just where the uh, internet's allowing us to start at the differences. So you never get to the commonalities. It's like, I hate that guy. Do you know him? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is I don't need to click. Right. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. That's why I say, yeah, you're right. better than me. Cause I, like I said, I've, uh, yeah, I just I, block yeah. you and I've blocked plenty of people in home theater groups. I just haven't blocked any of our people, our, our listeners, right. you know, cause every well, time somebody posts like, you know, oh, I bought this movie, blah, blah, blah. And the first comment is, that movie's trash. Well, you're blocked because, like, there's no reason for that. If you right. don't like it, get out of here. You know, it's like, I might not like the movie either, but I'm, this guy's obviously excited about whatever he's posting. And, like, right. for you to come on and just bash it for no reason, unsolicited, well. it's, you know you're going to be blocked. You know, it's just, you're, you're, this is no the conversation that John and I had five years ago when I was down yeah. there and why we started bright side. <laughs> it's <Right>. like <laughs> people bashing everything and we're like, they don't even know about it. Like, right. But yeah. So, all right. Um, do we want to wrap up on that? We have a few more. Yeah. Before I have to block somebody. Can, before, yeah, <laughs> we've, we've probably just been blocked by yeah. everybody. We're, we're blocked. <laughs> we're, okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we're going to be proactive. I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll block, block you each other. first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can go a little late this weekend. This is what we choose for content. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Let's get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad, Deej, but you're not selling them. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I, you know it, it, but that's why I like, but here's the thing. What what I can tell you I am selling is support the podcast monetarily, support it. Even if you can't support it monetarily, I'm going to find a way to get you this pen because if, <laughs> if no, no, seriously, it's, I'm not saying you, you, you can buy a pen. You can't. I want to be able to give these away when people do something special, something different. Um, I have a couple ideas in mind in mind that people can, you know, proactively just go, oh, I got to do that and I'll do it. OK, um, but even if you can't support the podcast monetarily, growing the podcast grows people that maybe can. And we are still giving 50 percent of our profits away to and profits loosely. I don't think we've had any um because it's all been given away because you're giving it all away <laughs> right but this month is autism speaks so you know this month you know we've got the donations from joe uh i didn't get to add up the numbers today it's a pretty busy day but 
um, we're looking at probably at 50%, we're over $200 again. So awesome. we're, that we brought in for the month. So I'll be given like $120 probably, a rough est estimate in my head, going to Autism Speaks. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff for donation. We're, every month we're doing a different you know, charity. So if you have a charity and you want to come on and talk about it, like Joe did, we'll do that. Um, so that's what, that's where I think, you know, and all joking aside, that's where I think the pen is going to be important. Pen is mightier than the sword boys. Believe me, I did not write this ahead. Of I time. heard that a little while ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, it's, and it's fun and somebody, and I'm telling you right now, Mike Schramm doesn't even know this, but uh, I'll just tell you now I'm sending Mike like a bunch of these because Mike's traveling. Mike gets out and carry a few with you, give them out. <laughs> it's like, there you go. Uh, that was, that's one thing I want to do. Um, so yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's, that's, I don't care about money. I, I need it, but. I, I, I really would like to do the charity thing and I like giving stuff away. As John knows, I've been doing it since we started. <laughs> Are we saying except, that, uh, except, except I don't have a pen or a shot glass or, or shot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. my son or all made the, those. I got to get myriad that to other you. things that you give away to everybody else. <laughs> so. I just got the pens. Look, <laughs> I literally just got the box of pens just, today. Just so. giving you a hard time. This <laughs> has <laughs> got the receipts, everything. Yeah. Literally just showed up today. So, um, <laughs> I will get them for you. And we'll talk after show. I got something else for you guys, too. But uh, all right. That'll do it for this week. Uh, mm -hmm. Crazy show. Lots of fun. Mm -hmm. We uh, So much fun. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for participating. Sorry about the chat this week. Uh, it's it's See how important that is? It was really disappointing that we couldn't see that mm -hmm. the entire time. So, um, but all right. And we will be back next week in some form on July 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it, I know at least Steve and I will be here if John can't make it. Um, maybe we'll get a special guest. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be, Steve and I can go. So we'll be good. <laughs> um and uh, and don't forget next week's Takeover Tuesday. It's going to be uh, I'll, I'll give it away. Paul Hurt is joining me, and uh, you're not going to want to miss it. A lot of work went into this one, and uh, very important. And it's going to uh, send fireworks through the whole theater right. community. So, all right, that'll do it for this week. Uh, what do we got to do? Go push play. What he said. Here we go. Hey, Fred. This has been a Hey, Fred production with theme music by Jeff Bernhardt and Throne Vault Productions.